I'm with Carmelo Anthony. We in the hook. We in the hook. Somewhere in Brooklyn. <laughs> we saw that. As a and, I, and I think it's 7 p.m. It's, it's, it's about that time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We back talking about crate basketball. Welcome back to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. I'm Carmelo Anthony here with my co-host. That's right, it's your boy. You know what I mean? The kid Murder Human Do Rag Flap. You know what I mean? This is a Wave Sports and Entertainment original presented by Prospects. We back. We, we are back. back. We here. You know what I'm saying? I know. Listen, I gotta dap you up on the left. one time. You know what I mean? Because I know you're a big Ravens fan. Shout out, you know shout out, saying? shout out to my Ravens, man. You know what I mean? They shout cooking. Out, <clears throat> shout out to shout out to the city. Shout out to the Ravens. Be more. Just shout out to the energy that was in the building, in the city. And it's a lot of it's a lot of wins going around, bro, because Detroit got that dub too. Yo, we were talking huge. about Detroit too. Detroit, both of them. Detroit, what we say Detroit needed patience and a hug. That's right? it. I think that was patience and a hug, right? That's it. Y'all got so, it. So they got it. Now they relaxed. Ah. Locked it. I would, I wouldn't mind a Detroit Baltimore. That would that would go crazy. <sighs> They catch you with Peyton Manning again on the sideline. <laughs> it's the Super Bowl. That's my guy. Shout out to Peyton. Shout out to Peyton. Welcome, you know to, I mean? welcome to the town, Peyton. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was at the chilling like. Yo, Peyton was I'm chilling. Fine. Peyton was chilling. He had his family there. Peyton was chilling. You know, he was cold as hell out there. I was about to say, because I seen the flick. Though. It's something different with that cold. Like, football Bro. players deal with the cold a little different. It you was, see them warming up? They out there with no shirts on? I'm like, y'all are crazy. I'm, even the retired players was different. <laughs> <laughs> in the cold. Man. Yo, because everybody like, that played football is like, yo, listen, you got to be a little different to really lock in and play, because it's a different- You got to go to a different- Level. Dimension. <laughs> you know, you got to, it's a different dimension you got to go to. Because I seen a flick of y'all on the sideline, and it is, it looked brick as fuck, because Peyton made the, he was making the, yo, oh, it's cold face, like. Yeah, it was the- That tundra cold. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, you know, the, the corporate look wasn't it for, you know, the- <laughs> Over cold with the scarf yeah. and, the, and the slacks, like, like a the beautiful, peacock. great look. I'm just saying in general, at, you know, executives and but like, don't work in that way. Yo, that was cold as shit out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call. That ain't even about trying to look cool. Like nah, it's like, yo, bro, you we are. Bundle up. Yeah, but shout out to Peyton, man. That's my. That's you know, it was a good look. I call that shit oh now nah weather. Cause you just open your front door, you'd be like, oh nah, and just go back in the crib, shut yeah, the door. Yeah, but it's like when you're in the car, it's like you don't really, the sun is still shining. Oh God. When you hit that field, it's like, God dang, this is. <laughs> this is what they about to play on. on. We got it. <laughs> you start getting warmed up, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so yo, this happened, you know what I mean? Shout out to uh, the tripod God, you know what I'm saying? Drew Walls. Drew Walls is back. He, yeah, he He's showed back. love. He showed love, peep it. So he did an ad before the uh, Ravens game. And he's locked in watching his favorite program, dog. Look at the TV, man. Oh, that's fine. I didn't even peep that. <laughs> ah, I was off my square on that one. I ain't even peep that. Look at homie, bro. He's locked in. That's what's up. Y'all, 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. Even Drew no Walls doubt. on the Yo, is. Drew Walls, peace, man. <laughs> I'm still kicking the drop pod, chat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Wow, I'm still hitting that shit with the leg sweep. <laughs> You know homie, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Much respect, man. Much yeah. respect. A lot of y'all come for the laughs, but a lot of y'all come for the knowledge. We're about to do the knowledge in three to the dome. You know what I'm saying? It's the number one segment on the internet about basketball and knowledge. So we're going to talk about this real quick. Kevin Durant was recently interviewed and he said, yo, despite all the accolades I got, I done did everything that a goat is mm -hmm. supposed to do, but I ain't in a goat conversation. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. that, was the, that was the gist. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like, you know what I mean? He's feeling the way. So look, despite earning nearly every major award in NBA history and being top 10 all-time scorer, you know about that. He said, because I went to the Warriors, why should I be in that? Mm. That's the question you should ask. Why not? What haven't I done? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and he had a game win against the Bulls the other night. Ah. So... <laughs> So he said he went in there with that energy. He was like, yo, hold on. Give me the rock. I'm not the GOAT. We'll pull it from the logo real oh, quick. give me the ball. Give get me the my, rock. Get to my spot. Boom. That's why they call me a bucket getter. That means get to my spot. That's that was it. already predetermined. That was, I'm Look, getting my he spot. Knew. He's get like, I'm going right here. Whoop. Left elbow. I work on that all day all long. Day. So at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, does KD deserve to be in the GOAT conversation? Absolutely. Like, I don't... I hate, I hate that shit. Like, I hate the GOAT talk. 
Like, niggas is nice, bro. Like, this just This nigga hoops, bro. He got all these awards. Like, he got like, this. The man and that. is like, again, I, he's he's he will go down as arguably. Arguably. Arguably, Katie. <laughs> the most pure, like the, the, the most pure, purest score that this league has ever seen. Oh, that's coming from Melo, B. Like, he is a three, no, nah, he, nah, he's a five level score. Like, nah, we was breaking the five levels down. Yeah. He's a five level scorer. There's no way he can't score at on the court. I seen him pull every type of move you could pull. He's man. a champion. Seven feet Scoring with a bag, bro. He's, but he's seven feet. With yeah, a you bag. seven feet, champ. You seven feet. He don't seven like feet that. With a bag, you bro. Like you that. automatically in the group. He don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like that. <laughs> but he's seven feet. Yeah. Doing, he changed the game. Correct. How you not going to say he's the in the conversation with the GOAT? What is the what is the criteria to being the goat? What? Is it six rings? If you, if that's the case, then if, if if we talking ring culture, Michael Jordan is not the goat. True, Bill Russell is. Bill Russell is the goat. If yeah. we talking ring culture, right? But you what's know, people gonna say Michael no, Jordan is the Mike. goat? So what is the you know what is the criteria <laughs> of the goat? Like I the, think the, it was the, a... the, the the geeks and the analytics is yeah. boom 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 is gonna say Bill Russell is the goat. Yeah. Like, if you talk to people that was before MJ and like oh yeah oh, they gonna say yo Bill Russell MJ is not the goat. When you talk to your uncles and and and, and people oh. that was around they are gonna say Michael Jordan what no Bill Russell. I tell you now my uncle is so like, yo, now magic. you ask somebody they gonna say Bill Russell. God bless the dead, but they, that's right. how the shit changes. Yeah. So, so move, yes, to answer the question, yeah, that man is in the GOAT talk. He's in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's in the conversation. No, not even, not even, he is a GOAT. Because it's not just, well, the, it's, the way you broke it down, Michael it makes sense. Jordan is a GOAT. LeBron yeah, is a goat. GOAT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There can never only be one. Ghost on, you know what I mean? Ghost rolling packs, man. That's a fact. Yeah, nah, that's true. Yo, put Come that on, on the shirt. Ghost. The game is, we already printed up much man, crazy. Ghost. The game is about a bucket. Listen, pawn the left. You know what I'm the left. Ghost, ghost rolling only, packs. Listen, Come on, man. man. Stop it. Lions only roll with lions. Come You've on. never seen a lion rolling with anybody, any <laughs> other animal out there. Yes. Shout to Jerry Goff, baby. Get it. Facts. <laughs> so, yeah, KD is supposed to be in the. In the goat talk, and if he not, he 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 a goat. Cause so here's my here's my okay, here's okay. my give me the give me give me I'm gonna give okay, you the yeah, I'm gonna give okay. you the raw the raw bomb the bomb shot take. Everybody thinks, and this is my era too. I've, Cause we come from the same era yeah. of the Mikes, the Pat Ewings, Peyton and Kemp's, the Malone and Stockton's. Those guys came to that team, stayed with that team, won on that team, retired on that team, won or didn't win on that team, stayed with that team. Mm -hmm. Does. Does it make it cheap that he went to the Warriors? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, y'all was up 3-1. Y'all could beat these guys. It's not like y'all got blown out the gym. You know what I mean? Y'all didn't get swept. Y'all was almost right there. You just blew a lead. Right. But, you know what I mean? The next season, boop, you over there. They just, they just smoked you. That's yeah. crazy. Because from my perspective of like as a fan, like as a competitor even, I'm like, bro, if you whooped my ass last year, fuck you. Yeah, but he went there and he did what he had to do. It was times that the Warriors needed him yep. to come through because they couldn't get to certain spots and they couldn't, when they really need to slow the game down, they, who they was going to. KD, KD we get to my spot, threes. get to your spot. No, get to your <laughs> spot because Steph ain't getting to his spot. Clay ain't getting, they spots is different. KD's spot is one of them four spots. Yeah. I'm going to get there. And we know what's going to happen. So while y'all are chasing Steph and Clay and, and Draymond is backdoor cutting and hitting, you know what I mean, passing and doing what he do, KD is left alone over there. That's crazy. So when you, it's like, oh, shit. Like, I'm going to have open looks? Like, I can play <laughs> this freely? Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I can just, when we need a bucket, I'm going down there. Yeah. Nobody else could go down there. And make that happen. And make that happen. So... The dynamic that KD bought to Golden State, they didn't have. So, yes, they had to adapt and adjust to having somebody like KD, but they was going to do what they was going to do regardless. That system is that system. They had to figure out how to implement KD into that. So yeah. now you go there and the heat is on you. You win. 
you win a championship. I mean, yeah, you got it. But so what now about the person that says they like, gonna yo, say, it was, yo, you took the easy way out, da 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 da. But you gotta understand who is KD, his mindset. I care about basketball and winning. I don't give a fuck about, I, I care about the purity of basketball. I don't care what y'all fans say, and it's no disrespect to y'all, but y'all don't know what's, what I'm going through and yeah. dealing with and thinking about how my approach to the game. So a lot of y'all not going to like this shit, yeah. and I don't care if y'all don't like it. And also, I just won. So what y'all going to say about that? Y'all going <laughs> to hate me for winning? Y'all going to knock my championship? If I lose, I lose. If, if I, I lose, win, I lose? I'm in a lose-lose situation. <laughs> so guess what? I'm going to just focus on what I need to focus on. That's me. And I won. Ball. And I'm enjoy this. And fuck y'all. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He had to, like, even though they already was doing their thing and winning, what he brought to that team and that organization was something totally different. Right? So, and, 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 I'm, and, and this guy is arguably the best scorer ever, arguably, say arguably KB, KD, you know what I mean? Arguably. <laughs> arguably. You know what arguably. arguably, KD. It means it could be argued. All, you know, say, <laughs> we would God. debate on it. But it's-, it's <laughs> But you up there. Nah, he's, he's, yeah, he's there. With that being said, what can you take away from him? The only thing you could take away from is that he left and went to the op. But if and, and that's it, the psychological part of that is tough. Yeah. Like, yo, it's like. I mean, it's tough for a fan. I can't imagine. If, I'm going you know to saying? Boston. Like, yo. Because you got to have. You, I know you. It's like, I just go to Boston and I'm like, yo, fuck. I don't give a fuck with that's nobody. That's what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck with nobody. That's saying. what I'm saying. Like, like, if you got. Tra- if you if you didn't have a no trade clause and they're like, Melo, we shipping you to Boston. Nah, and you I, go I, there. I would think about it, but I can't at the end of the day. No matter what 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 that one is. But that, again, that's. I can't project me. On to him in my situation. I'm just saying him in that situation looked at it like probably like, the damn, pros and the cons. we are here. Like we already reached here. These boys is just getting going over here. We got to go through this team every single year. To, I don't know if I, that, that's, ah, I don't, I don't know if we have what we really need to have to go up against them. Yeah, but then one-on-one. you look at the team they had, they was probably missing the a, a piece, piece or two, two, yeah. But they was young, so then you leave, and you win. So now you now you dealing with the emotional part, you know, and you in your head, and damn, you're not accepting your you're not accepting your your, your championship. It's like damn, man, it's making me feel like I'm wrong for winning this. So now you start in your own head. You start that's you. Know, I'm not saying he went down that, or maybe he did. I don't know. But you start overthinking. You start damn, man, like. Playing on your own emotions and replaying it, that's, that shit ain't good for you. So yeah. if he don't go to go to state that year and he stay in OKC, LeBron gets another ring. Maybe two. You get what I'm yeah. saying? It could have went either way. Either way like it, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying? Because what KD bought that year, Golden State needed that yeah. to beat. We need a bucket now. We need like we need certain shit that KD yeah. bring to this team in this organ in, in, in this game in order to beat them boys. Yo, we're taking a brief break from today's episode to let you know that Prize Picks got you covered when it comes to helping you make some real bread. That's absolutely correct, my brother. The NFL playoffs is here now. NBA season is in full swing. All stars right around the corner. Prize picks is helping us cash in. You feel mm, me? Talk you to me. I mean? Uh they got the Daily Fantasy app. Where you could select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn twenty five dollars into two fifty. And the best part about it is, Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than sixty seconds, bro. Prize Picks allows you to pick a combo projections across football and basketball with specials, so you can support all your teams while still cashing in. Cashing in, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of projections on deck. A lot of them got to do with the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? So. We locked it. <laughs> Talk to me nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, be sure to visit, you know what I mean, prospects.com slash 7 p.m. so they know you're coming from us. Use the promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Now back to the shizzo. If you put KD in the 90s and he accomplishes everything that he accomplished, there's no doubt you're talking about him like, yo, he's one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just sad because you it's, can't, it's, you can't, goes on. yeah, it's like you can't, appreciate nobody no more just for like 
them. Like it all, you gotta appreciate them for winning the chip or like it's a different type of appreciation for you. Like the appreciation should be the appreciation. If I fuck with you, I'll fuck with you. Not because you got a hundred million or you got a million. I just fuck I, with you. I fuck with you. Yeah. You understand? So if you to go, you to, you you go to my eyes, man. Like I ain't, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, so when it comes to goat talk, it's we know who goats are. Like we know who the goats are as yeah. an athlete. Yeah. We as the guys who played the sport know who the goats are. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So if you ask guys who played the sport and was really those guys in that sport, they gonna tell you who's those guys in that sport. Yeah, it's simple. Cause yo, to it's your just, point, it's just people put extra zone and they draw a line. Oh, I, you fuck with him. I don't, I don't like him. I'm going with him. Like, it's a line that's being drawn. You gotta, you gotta pick a side, and it, it, it fucks it up in sports because it makes it hard for, for fans and 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 people who really fuck with individuals and athletes to really like them because you gonna always be compared and be doubted for liking that particular player. Right. And which is why today you always, people ask, yo, who's your favorite players? They gonna give you the same names. That might not be their real favorite players. Like that, that's not their real top five. Yeah, it's just what I, what was in top of my it's, head It's today. the five that I know people would, would, will accept and validate. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, his five, his You five. don't got Mikey in your top five? That's crazy. Right. Like, like nah, bro, I like Ronnie Torrey out a lot. Clyde like Drexler, game. right? For an example, the same thing. We went to Portland. Ah, ah, ah. Can't do it. Can't get past Mike. Boom, boom, boom. Still was going to Houston. Ah. Now the narrative shift in 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 in, <laughs> in four days. <laughs> it's like oh, you go from ah, ah, ah to he's better than Mike. He's a face of the league. Yep. You get what I'm saying? So Mike was like, nah, some nah, situations, nah. man, you just. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, it's it's fun, it's it's talk, it's and that's all it is, it's just talk because you can't you can't devalue or or you know not appreciate something that was it, it's an art. It's like music, bro. Yeah. It's, an art. it's like, yo, who's your favorite rapper? But everybody got a different answer. Yeah. But speaking of Bron and and you know Bron and you know Mike, who is most who cares the most? about being or, or being considered the GOAT? Like who, who would give that the most like kind of like importance? Because I'll tell you straight off top, for, I, for me, I would think it would, I, I would think it would be Mike just because of his competitive nature, but then the other side of my brain is telling me Braun, because Braun is like very like, he's very aware of who he is in, in the league. You know what I'm saying? As he should be. You know as, what I mean? as, as he should be. I think Mike did it already. So Mike is the, he's the target. You get what I'm saying? So, so Mike he, is saying, I don't got to say He don't goal. have to say they that. all say nine. It's for y'all to debate that. It right. ain't for me to say that. It's for y'all to debate that. So he don't give a fuck. He's just like, yo, y'all. Right. It's, it's, <laughs> it's for y'all to debate that. I'm already here. I'm already sitting. I'm the guy. I'm already sitting in the, you know what I mean? Like, I'm here. Y'all debate that shit. I ain't got time. Y'all debate that shit. But then you have a young man that's coming along who understands that's what I'm coming for. Yeah. The same way MJ was talking about coming for those 11 rings. Like, I want to be that. Brian's like, yo, I'm going to score the most. I'm better than, I want to be better than that. I want to be that's So, Brian sees that. He's inspired by that. He's motivated by, like, that's my, that's my idol. Like, that's, he set the tone for what greatness right. is. Like, this is greatness, and I want to be like the person that I follow, which is greatness. So I'm going on a journey of being great. And be through that journey, there's going to be a point in time where if I do what I have to do, I will be in that conversation with my idol. So now... Once I get to that conversation, I don't gotta. I don't gotta go on the on the dog and pony show. I don't gotta go on the road show to say I'm the I'm I'm the greatest. I already put myself there. Now he's getting the same mindset that MJ got. Yeah. Man, y'all determine who to like. I don't I gotta say it. Y'all also. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. now spinning the block, KD situation. They asking him. He's like, you see it. 
Got what the hall win? What I got to do? Oh, I ain't, I ain't got four or five. Like, I, you know what I mean? But what else do I got to do? And it's going to always, well, you ain't got that many championships. Like, and with Braun, it's always be, you ain't got six. Right. Right? Or oh, you lost, your record is ah, 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 whatever or it is. Your losing record. And the, the people always want to look at the, the losing aspect of shit. Like, God damn, we, like, bro, you we do that all the time. We look at the losing aspect of it. This man been in, he been in the league, what, I mean, 20, 21 years. <sighs> this man, how many finals he's been in? 18? 18? Some shit like that. Please fact check me, please, somebody. Yeah, it's like, you gotta be, it's but in the, the team. My, my bro. point is, it's in, that's unbelievable. That's what I'm saying. Cause this team's just like, bro, we, this franchise has never been to the NBA, has never been to the NBA finals. He's been in 10 finals in 20 years. <laughs> That's one every other year, bro. It's like, like 10 what teams have never been. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. So, yes, like, I mean, that's, to, to my point, when you talking, talking to, to answer the question, who cares about it most, I think Braun probably, probably cared about it the most because he was the one who was striving to get to that. To that zenith. Right. So now that he's there, it's... it's what, 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 are we, what are we talking about? Like, what the fuck is y'all? <laughs> I'm up here with Mike. What's up? Yeah, that's why he carrying it like that. Like, yeah. yo, I don't got, I, I, honestly, I don't got to explain shit to y'all. But I'm going to do this because I'm a professional and I still love it and I care about the game and I care about winning. And I ain't got to explain shit to y'all. Y'all, y'all niggas is bugging. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here now. That's I'm old here. news, Come man. Come on. Like, you could have asked me this 10 years ago, maybe. That's Not old now. news. <laughs> yo. Oh man, because that I, I love it. I love it because it's like it's giving me like that 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 late nineties, early two thousands era. You know what I mean? Like feel. You know what best, I mean? The best, the best, bro. Yeah. Because SGA Ant Man is also doing the same thing because they they beefing <laughs> on some like yo competitive. Yeah. Like, yo, we're going to go at each other. Yeah. We're going to talk our shit. Yeah. They're doing it in different ways. Yeah. Because SGA, is, SGA is, you know, he's Canadian, eh? So he's got to be polite, eh? Oh, he is Canadian. So he's not going to talk a lot of trash on the court, eh? He's going to do it on Instagram. He'll eh? do it subtly, eh? Subtle. A little subtle shot, eh? A little Boom. subtle shot. A little sub like Drake, eh? Yeah. You know, a little, little shot, a little sub. A little, sub, little subtle shot. You he, know said, I mean? he said, that he said, intelligent shot. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. he said on Instagram, he's like, they, they don't talk about me. They don't talk about me for my post game. They talk about me for my post game. Oh, the double on The double on times oh. don't ask me how. You know what I'm saying? Because I was, I guess that was in response to, to that was post game where he said, it's hard, you know what I mean, to guard SGA with all the, with all the calls that Shy gets, it's hard to shut him down. You can't touch him at any time of the game, so it's super hard to beat. The Ooh, team is in left though. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> Word, hold on. Foul. I see why he's getting the foul. I see why he's getting all the calls. <laughs> Yo, he said the team's a good team, especially when they get calls like that, which is like, yo, I feel like when he was saying that shit, bro, and I, listen, you can tell, inform, inform this opinion as a player. Like, when you get, when you say your shit in the post game, and you like you know like if I say this I'm gonna get fined, but I'm gonna get as close to getting fined as I can without getting fined. I don't think that's close to getting fined. Like, you know that's what I'm like taking a sh like I'm shooting my shot at the he get all the calls. calls. I'm, like, I'm shooting my shot. This referee be some people shoot their shot. Some people just know how to you do, know, do it on Instagram. To, they gotta get to a point where they start shooting. <laughs> but I love this because these are two of the top guards in the NBA. Like new faces of the league, you know, and in particular, he took the mantle of USA basketball. He's like, yo, we got to fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to make this shit work. Then you got Shy on the other side who's repping Team Canada. It's a fact. And you, say, you, and you brought this up to me. He was like, yo, that's, that's going to be a, a, a hell of a matchup, for bro. For years to come. For years. Because these dudes are young now. They, they coming up and they, like you was talking about that curve. Like, I want you to break down the curve, too, for the, for the, for the audience. But like, yeah, the curve. He's about to hit that curve. And, like, bro, these, like, it's, you're witnessing the, the beginning of something. You know we're what wait, I mean? Yeah, we're witnessing something. The beginning of something Ant -Man, special. The Canada-USA rivalry something is, is, is the beginning of something crazy, I think. Yes. You know what I mean? And, like. I love it. KD mentioned on Twitter. You know what I mean? Because all these guys are friends now. But it's not like back in the day. It's, you got social media. They, people follow each other. They, you know what I mean? Yo, where you going to be at? I'm in your city. Let's chill. So it's not really like 
yo, I fucking hate this dude. That's yeah. why. That's why it's like the beef between Ant and Shy. It's like mm -hmm. you know, it's it's healthy sports beef. It's not like real beef. As but it's supposed to be. You're right. Com competition. There's no sports beef. You're right. Like, come on. Like you drop twenty on me, I'm gonna fuck you up. Like, yes. <laughs> it's no sports beef. But KD was saying you hoop harder against your against your friends, against your peoples, which to me sounded kind of crazy because it's like. You know what I mean? It's why like yo, wanna, why you want to fuck your friend? Up? You know what I mean? I'm gonna put an elbow <laughs> in your chest, but I'm gonna let you get your thirty piece if I'm not de if I'm not defending you. Yeah. And you cooking my my man's? I'm gonna fake help. I'm like yo, yeah. and then come back to my man. Like <laughs> practice my defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and you, champ. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it. One You always got a defensive friend though. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the you go to the court and they just they 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 don't mind it. Yeah. And you just bust their ass and just destroy. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. Just yeah, try to put the, the clamps on. They can shoot a jump shot because they want to get back on defense. <laughs> <laughs> they run real fast back on defense. Especially one-on-one. -on -one, it's like, damn, okay. But, but not, so let's, let's stay on track. So, yeah, but it, may, it's, it may, made sense to me. Not to cut you off. It made sense to me because that was my thing as a Knicks fan during your tenure with the Knicks that people would say, yo, Melo don't play defense. We talked about this earlier in an early episode. But when we played against the Heat, it was like, yo, if people was watching, like, yo, what is he gonna, how is he gonna play Bron? Yeah. And it's like, bro, he's playing him for real. Which, as a Knicks fan, I'm watching MSG, I'm watching Clyde and Mike, and I'm watching you do this every night. I'm like, yo, this is a bullshit narrative. Yeah. But then on the TV national games, you're doing it on a national stage to Bron. So is it true? Do you hoop hard against your, your friends? Or is there people where you're like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm coming for your head, bro, because I don't fuck with you? I think the, the, the friend part of it is just more, it's like, Internally, like mentally, is like, like we because we friends, we on a we on a whole nother level. Like we ain't even got to speak and talk in the game, and we know. Oh, he's trying to do this. No, not even that. I I know. We laughing on the inside. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. saying certain jokes that we catching in the game. Like people that don't really see that. Like inside shit. Inside shit that only me and you as a friend. Yeah. Can be wild. Can be talking about it. You know what I'm saying? And also like, oh yeah, I'm, I want to I want to fuck you up as my friend, like. I'm here for win. I'm and you here for a reason, so it shouldn't be no no different. So I love the 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 Shay and the and the ant. I think we need more of that. I think we need more of that, like that, like man, like nah, fuck you. I'm that. I'm the one. Nah, I'm, I'm the one. Like you know, of, of course they gonna keep it, you know, PG thirteen. Yeah. But that's what I like too. They, I love the, I love that because ant is here to stay. Oh yeah, Shay. Is here to stay. They both here to stay. And now you add the, you know, the the heat that was drawn from Canada beating, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. US and like they the faces of the both World the Cup and yeah. like the world is looking at them too. So now you bring that back here to the to the league. You supposed to. You the you the you the man. On your you the you the guy. I, I feel like I'm the guy too. I gotta. Ain't no friendly shit going on yeah. in this game. Like, we cool, but we'll go to dinner after. Right, right. <laughs> we gonna have a drink after. after. We go chill after. We, it's none of that. And, 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 and this rectangle, is there's none of that. Right. So I'm going to compete, and I'm going to compete even harder because I know you're that guy. Yeah. So why wouldn't I compete? And it just so happened that you're my, you, you're my man, you're my friend. So, yes, we competing. When I played against Bron, I wanted, he wanted to kill me, I wanted to kill him. When and you I played know against not, Cole, I wanted to kill him. Yeah. And obviously, you know he wanted to kill me. Oh, for sure. And but when you like, play against the best, you want to kill the best. Like, of course. So when you, you talk about them two about to be, this is y'all about to see, we at the beginning. This is like, we investing in a startup right now. This is what we blow. investing in right now. <laughs> and I think we need, we need, more, we need more of that. Knowing what you know, having the experience that you got internationally with the Olympics, all the FIBA stuff, like, does that work to grow the game internationally? Hell it, yeah. I think so too. Like, if Hell you, yeah. If you fight, if you going against Luca in, in the regular yeah. season, then you got to go see him in the, Hell in the World yeah, Cup. Hell yeah, because they, they're different on their respective country teams. Yeah. They are different. Like, you think they different here. Luca is different over there. He's like, I'm playing for my country now, bro. Shy is different uh, with Canada. Like these guys are different with they, they teams, yeah. their countries. So when you start talking about them too, and I think they reaching the curve at the same time too. That curve is, 
I was gonna say break it down. Uh, Give him the knowledge real quick. So with 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 the curve, we talk about the curve. Yeah. In sports, in basketball particularly, but the curve is my first year. I'm happy to get here. I'm here. I'm playing against my idols. I'm ah ah ah. I'm excited. Win or lose, I'm cool. Like the second year, you start getting a little bit more serious. Like. And you, but you start developing, you start gaining that. Like I done played 82 games yeah. in this league. I, I I know the speed. I know the, you know, you're the, accustomed to everything. The physicality. Yeah. I know the lay of the land and the traveling. You know what I mean? Hotel. We on the road. I, I know that. Your third year is when you start hitting that curve and where your idols start turning into rivals, right? Because yeah. it's like I'm that guy. And I know in order for me to get the respect, I gotta go, I gotta come get you. So now everybody that I go against who is there, it's a different mentality. I, you ain't, you might, I, I fuck with you. I'm you like, yeah. you still my favorite, one of my favorite yeah, players. I got, but I got it. Like it's it's I'm me and you this today. <laughs> so the difference with Ann is he's letting that, he's letting niggas know, like, I'm here to stay. I'm on y'all niggas' bumpers. Straight up. And y'all gonna have to go. Y'all gonna have to go through me in a minute. Give me the motherfucking calls and watch right. what happens. So when I go up against other guys, that's why Ann is just different because his his energy. You, these young guys ain't doing that. They ain't calling nobody out. They ain't calling stars out. They ain't. Nah. They ain't calling the best guys out. Nah, I love that shit, bro. And then back, you know what I mean? Like standing on what they standing on, and can stand on what they standing on. So I, I really think that it's good for the sport. It's good for Canada. As a, as a yeah, country, it's good for the yeah. U.S., it's good for the world, because now when you take this energy to the Olympics, to the World Cups, they piggybacking off of us anyway. So they're going to promote that. They're going to promote the rivals. They're going, Canada, USA might be one of the biggest games. But what I will say is, it's a different USA team that's going to Paris. Oh, yeah. So, ah, Whatever happens is gonna happen. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? But that those two, Ant and, and and Shay, they here to stay. Shay's here to stay. They are here to stay. And Shy's not going bye bye. Nah, they here you to stay. I mean? So, as you know, white hat guy, let's wrap up through the dome. You know what I'm saying? With this one, how does Aunt Edwards now kind of like navigate like the bullshit, right? Like the distractions, whatever. Because he's one of them ones, and he's here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So that means you got to deal with a lot of bullshit. Andy from the A. You feel me? So Andy it's like a, it, he, he's giving off that yeah. energy. Like, but he's I, him I, all I, day. I, I, I know Shorty, man. Shorty ain't, he locked in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he know he got, he got a chance to be something special. Right. And I think people around him understand that too, to an extent. Like, yo, you are, you're he's him. You're, you're, him. you're the one. <laughs> yeah. You're next. Yeah. So do what you got to do, and let's get this, this wave out of the league, and it's yours. And it's yours, yeah. Push, so yeah. stay on track. Do what you do. Stay locked in. Of course, you're going to have your, you know, you're going to have fun, but it's, it's, it's greatness time for him. For him. And, it, and, and that's, a different, like, that's a different lock-in that you got to yeah, have. Yeah, bro. I don't remember last time Minnesota was like, yo. It's up, like yo, we're cooking. You know what I mean? Like when the last time, they, nah, it was with Jimmy, Jimmy and, and Jimmy, Pat Bev, and it was. There. But where it felt like, yo, they on that ticket in them. <laughs> Early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, you know that, what I mean? That Minnesota was. Jeez, yeah, 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 it's a different yeah. Minnesota. Yeah, it was a different Minnesota. energy out there. No, yeah. before that, yeah, yeah, KG Minnesota. Was KG Minnesota was. It was tough going. The jerseys were hard. It, it was, was a tough it was going <laughs> to Twin City. <laughs> Yo! When this episode drops, it'll be one day before the four-year anniversary of Kobe Bryant's tragic passing in 2020. There's also the anniversary week of the Mamba scoring 81 against the Raptors, which is mm. crazy back in 2006. During the 2009 uh, conference finals, Kobe called you the closest person to him during that Team USA run that y'all had uh, during the summer of 2008. He said, he said he consistently showed you love, you know what I'm saying, when he was here. And you know what I'm saying? I, I know like... The relationship y'all had, there's some, there's some, there's like a, 
of this much stories, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I shared, memories I shared, stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? If you, talk to me about the 08, that 08 run. Because he said like, yo, the dude that I was closest to on that team was Melo. When he says that, like, what does he mean? Because you know Kobe's nah, very direct. Special. Yeah, yeah, that, he, he only got a he couple people. Bush. He, yeah, he's like, <laughs> he only got a couple of people. Yeah. Like, and, and, and those that know, know who those people are. Yeah. And, and, and that is what it is. You get what I'm saying? So my relationship with him was my relationship with him. It wasn't like somebody else's relationship with him. Right. So, and, and the way that we came together was off some, like, respect. Yeah. He didn't respect he didn't respect people. Like, nah, I don't respect you. I'm not what 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 makes me what what are you doing that makes me want to respect you? Like, <laughs> right. What have you done? And that that was just that was just his MO. That's how he that's how he handled things. So right. now I'm in your conference. We're playing, you know what I mean? It's like we we battling. <laughs> it, so we working. And yeah. you already see what's happening. The trajectory of yeah. of what's going on, and I know I gotta I gotta go through that. So now you talking about that curve. I come in in oh three oh four. That's like three years, couple years late. That's my curve. My idols is turning to it's my right, rivals yeah. in a sense. That was my curve, and those are some. So bro. now I'm here. I'm here to. I'm here to stay. I'm here to. We gonna do this. Now, with that, I garnered a, a, a different type of respect from him, right? Yeah. So now we're going into, you know, Western Conference and, you know, after the Olympics, but Olympics was more, it was a test almost. I want to see, like, you know what I'm saying? I hear yeah. a lot about you. Yeah. Oh nine Conference Finals, though, man. Talk to but me. Oh eight though. Not to cut you up. Oh eight the yeah. Olympics, yeah. right? That's what I. That's what I was dealing with. In the, in the practices and all that, like, because you know, some it. people practice and we it's like it. we at it, at it, we at it, full speed game speed. We are at it. Fouls, you getting put on your back. You like, we arguing, we yelling, we screaming. We we at it. Is that? Do you think that's part of the reason? He's like, yo, I, you, I. He got it, my it didn't matter. Like for me, once we was on that court, I'm, I'm because I'm just a naturally. This is the ring. Mellow nigga. Like, I'm just, a, you know, like naturally, like, I'm just, that's just my personality. So yeah. I want to make sure everybody is, is good. I want to make sure, yo, you, you ain't coming to practice without laughing and having fun. And yeah. we're going to get to it, but we're going to have fun too. Right. Right. So I was always kind of the mediator to a lot of, if anything was going on. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So with him, I can go speak to, uh, D Wade and LeBron and hang with CP and 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 that crew, but I also can go to Dwight Howard. I can go to Chris Bosh. You know what I mean? Because they ain't with that crew. That's yeah. two different yeah. personalities and two different crews. I also can go J Kid. I also could go to you know what I'm saying. I can go yeah. to everybody, and then you over there by yourself. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna connect the dots. And I'm gonna do it in a way where you can't, you gotta respect it. Yo, my nigga, what what fuck is you sitting over there for, my nigga? Come, yo, come on, man. Come on, take the fucking headphones, so man. Come you, on, man. Now you, now you gotta, uh, you know what I mean? You, you, you got. <laughs> 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 now you gotta you go play defensive you side defensive side mode now. <laughs> yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. that was my kind of relationship with him, and that kind of went from, you know, everybody had their own relationship with him, yeah. right? My relationship was that being able to kind of bring him in into the into hey. the so-called circle brotherhood. Yeah. Right? Because let's just fo let's just face it like we we had that. Us yeah. four had that already. We wanted you, I wanted you to be a part, part of, this of yeah. just something with us. And it was tug of war for a minute. So now we get to practice and this we 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 having fun. We laugh well you dead serious. This is finals for you. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw the, the clip in the documentary, the, the the Redeem team. Yeah, yeah. When Braun is like laughing at, making fun at the, like that was what, that was ice breaking. And people don't even yeah. know that. That was like ice breaker yeah. for my brother. 
that was icebreaker. Like, ah, okay, right. ah, okay. It ain't, I ain't got to be on edge and uh, I ain't got to be in right. lion mode all day long. I can relax, uh, breathe. I ain't got to do it on my own. With the I, fucking Justice League, B. You right, know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, you was the last, you know, gym yeah. in the glove. And we needed that. So you he know? settled in. So what was your, like, I know because you've had probably thousands, bro, but like a conversation with Cole that stood out to you. That like favorite for even because it was funny or because it was like you got it some game from it or the mentality, the the mama mentality and how and why it was created, like how it was created. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he was a smart motherfucker, like very intelligent. Oh, very, bro, that nigga spoke like eight languages. Yeah, so he was very <laughs> like he was very, very observant. Yeah. Right, and saw the landscape of, of, of a lot of shit. And it's like, he knew from, a, from a, a, a creative standpoint, right, a psychological standpoint, I have to create something that is just super deadly and like, nobody want to fuck with it. And like, when you even talk about it, I'm like, I don't even want to talk what about a mamba snake. If somebody bring a mamba here, you, everybody getting the oh, fuck shit, out of nah, here. Oh shit, now hold on, like, put this shit in the fucking tank. And please. just the, the 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 idea of what a mama snake is and the, and the personalities of a mama snake and for you to decipher that and break that down and say I want to be most people say I want to be a lion I want to be a oh, shark I want to be man. a bear I want you know what I mean like you said I'm, I'm a dog you. like nigga said I am a mamba a snake Shit. silent killer people don't like snakes and I know y'all don't fuck with me so I'm going to embrace that. <sighs> And I'm going to be the black mamba. That's a bar. You so the black that. mamba mentality that was created was something totally different. So now you just see it kind of escalating and growing and everybody got the mamba mentality because that mamba mentality puts you into a mentality that you have to be willing to go there. Giannis was willing to go there and say, fuck everybody. I'm the... Whether you like me or not, I'm that dude. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm locked in. I'm taking the challenge. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, the psychological aspect of Mamba mentality is something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo, so that 09, the battle, like I said, the battles, bro, this is like, this is like baggy shorts, era mellow. You know what I'm saying? Young mellow, just the mustache mellow, like out there. That's a fact. Going up against. <laughs> fucking one of the greatest yeah. like ever to step on a fucking hardwood upon the left. What do you remember the most about that series, man? Like the day-to-day -day preparation. Cause it it was like it was like something else different than from the usual. It was it was different than playing in any other playoff game. I was, you know, I knew I was playing against the Lakers and Cole, but I also knew the psychological warfare that this is going to take. Also, I'm a student of the game. So I know, I watched it. I watched the battles of Bird Magic and MJ Bird and Isaiah MJ and Bird Isaiah. And you know what I mean? Like, I watched the battles on how to, I studied the battles yeah. on how to, to get these guys. How you bounce back after, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not the game. It's more psychological yeah. than anything. So when it came to that, the day-to-day -day preparation was probably the toughest shit that I had to deal with. Because you're not only dealing with the, day, the, the preparation of the Lakers, right? You're not dealing with, you, 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 and, and, and you're dealing with the preparation of Phil Jackson. That's a whole nother Game yeah. that you gotta play. Well, he was still fell. Right. So quote Jay. And then you also <laughs> dealing the right with fell. the mindset of two four, right? And them as a team. So as a star player, the white hat, you gotta sit there and say, what, where, what am I gonna attack? Because I am playing against Phil right. as a as a coach. I'm trying to see his rhythm and flows and what happens in the game and when he called timeouts in the first quarter and why he called timeouts and 
substitution patterns and oh this game he he subbed him and then at, at this time but oh shit this game he subbed him in at that and trying to play those whole fucking yeah. the mind games and then oh I gotta go try to stop him and compete against this nigga like it's that was the hardest shit I ever had to deal with when it comes to preparation for people gonna say one player but one one playoff series right and I, I knew the ramif. I knew what was going on. I knew what's the conference finals, nigga. I'm going up against Cole. We we gonna get to it. I knew that. So the game but was I ready. Also it was knew, just... And when you start talking about why the game gets different in the postseason, and that's part of the game. So when you see white hats take their shit up to another level, is that part of the game that they really locking into? It ain't the physical part. They've been doing the physical part. All they ain't yeah. gonna change the physical part. Yeah. They may slow it down, but they ain't gonna change the physical aspect of the game. The mental aspect, you gotta start tapping in. So, yo, man, like, rest in peace, our brother. What yeah. is the most thing that you? What is the thing that you miss the most, though? You know, what I'm saying, like, is it like, yo, conversation, workouts? We, you know, what I mean, it's, we it's wasn't, time yeah, wine. we we wasn't uh, like some some people who say they was close to Cole may say. We spoke all the time, or we talked on the phone, or like, you know what I'm saying. Like I don't, I don't know if that's you know that's their situation. Yeah. With me, it was more. We had a deeper understanding. Like we can go a month and not talk, yeah, and we lock right back in, right? Yeah, he ain't got the he don't have to talk to me for a month and a half because in the season you we know how shit get. I know what you're going through, and you know what right. I'm going through. So now it's yeah. like you just looking at different rhythms of your friend throughout the season. Right. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he's down. Oh, he catching the rhythm. Oh, he got a flow. Oh, yo, you got to. So you catching the rhythm, and we all doing, I'm doing the same thing. So I know when I really need to holler, right. holler at my man. I know when I really need to holler at certain people in the, in the league today. Right. Now, I don't know, like, I'm the maestro, but on some real shit, you, this you is, might, I'm, my, I, my energy is, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I ain't feeling your energy. And this is why. So it's certain people I do that to. So me and his relationship was more so that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. After the game, we go dinner, go have, you know what I mean? Have a good time and, and talk. That's when we had our conversations at dinners. And was he like a big hoop talker? You know what I'm saying? Like You can't talk hoop with him. <laughs> you can't because it's always going to come down to winning a right. championship. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> so it's two people you can't talk to. Where, where it's like that's their only thing that yeah. they're going to, they're going to. Like, all right, Mike. All right, Cole. All right. Man. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, 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 yo, right. yo, man, listen. But when you can banter that back and forth, yeah. what you going to say? Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's a mutual respect that just, that, that, that gets gained. So saying like what you said, like you, you know when to reach out to your, your people's at, at certain times. Do you, do you remember a certain instance where you're like, yo, let me holler at Cole real quick because I've seen. You know what I mean? This happened or that happened or Yeah, I mean I you know, I don't I don't bring shit up, but like earlier in my career when shit was going down, like Yeah, we we I know where you at. Yeah. Yo, I'm I'm yo, I'm dealing with I'm here, boom, I might not make the game. I'm like I know all of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, and it fucked me up when he came back that game with the uniform already on and hit the game winner. <sighs> dealing with all types of bullshit. Right. Yeah, man. Damn. So it's like, damn, I got a different type of level of respect for this nigga. This nigga is- just ran out here with the suit This nigga <laughs> had the uniform on and on the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, ankles was taped already. <laughs> he taped them in the crib. But the, the, the confidence for you to walk into that arena where it, it's, this is Denver Lakers. Bro. In the heat of shit that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, it was in the heat of situations. And you come in- with your fucking uniform on, every sign in the building is towards you, against you. 
and you had a fucking game winner, bro. And you just came off of fucking. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Come on. I was hot, but that's, I'm like, damn, that's that's some like. I got to respect it. Different level <laughs> type of mentality. Yo, right? go, yo go was that's on some a, different I don't shit, give man. a fuck mentality yo, right I'm there. I'm telling bro. you. It's hard, man. But yeah, Cole, man, Cole, shout out to you know, my brother and his family, Vanessa and, and the kids. And that's a, that's one of my as a as like a as a TV guy media guy that's one of my biggest like damn you know what I mean because I done sat down with Denzel bro Obama everybody who I ever wanted to meet bro and I had I had a chance to meet Kobe it wasn't even like a it was like one of them like war show situations where you just like in the same room kind of like whatever mm-hmm. and bro just walked in and it was di- bro just had an aura about him he had the he, he had, had the glow. The, he had the Bruce Leroy glow. He had glow. the Bruce like, Leroy <laughs> glow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He walked in the room, everybody turned around like, yo, who's that? It's, it's, it's certain people who just have that, is, is have that glow. And it was something, and I don't you know could be why. the best thing in the world. You could be the best of the best. It's a lot of the best of the best. They don't, they don't got it. Don't have that they glow. They don't have that, bro. I was no. expecting a motherfucker to walk in the room and be 10 feet tall, bro. Like, you know well, what I'm saying? His like, stature was... You know what I mean? Because it's just the... The legend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, Melo, listen, man. 2024 is already moving along pretty quick. And before you know it, summer will be here. And with the summer months comes concerts. And there's no better way to be prepared to copy tickets. And that's by staying locked in to SeatGeek. That's right. Because SeatGeek, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticket in the app with more than 70,000 events every day from sports, concerts, and many more. All that. Listen, so whether you want to check out an NBA game, a little hockey, you know what I'm saying, even people NFL game before the season wraps, SeatGeek got you, you know what I mean, when it comes to finding options. That's right, because SeatGeek is the number one rated ticket and app with more than 70,000 events every day from sports to concerts and much more. Every ticket is backed by the buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. Use our code 7 p.m. for $20, $20. Off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code 7 p.m. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. All right, man. Yo, listen. 2024, bro. You know what I'm saying? New year, new me. You got any resolutions for yourself? I want to build this space out. I want to okay. build Creative 7 out as a, as a space. And I got a couple months before it actually coming to fruition and building it out and going from an ideating stage to actually seeing the, the full-fledged live from the hook space. Oof. I'm looking forward to that. That's a tremendous resolution, bro. My shit is wild basic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just got to stay hydrated. That's one of my biggest resolutions. Because listen, I know I sound wild wash when I say it, but hydration is very important when you're living an active lifestyle. I got like a million jobs these days. I got to stay locked in. Mm. Luckily, I got liquid IV. You know what I'm saying? So anytime I'm feeling like, ah, you know, they make things real simple for me. Pre-measured packet, glass of water, you know what I'm saying? They got flavors like green, grape, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. They well, got the red. <laughs> you, you have to rehydrate yourself for the new year, man. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiply, sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code 7 p.m. at checkout. Listen, that's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code 7 p.m. at liquidiv.com. You know what I mean? Use that 7 p.m. so they know that you that you coming from us. Get that deal. This is the beauty about 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, man. We always open doors to our family, friends, so you never know who may stop by and kick it. You With that said, we got giant star Kavon Thibodeau in the building. Welcome to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, my brother. Killer K, the fourth quarter king. You heard? Come you on, the mean? closer. <laughs> the <laughs> closer. Having, we here. Hey, we happy here. to have you, bro. We, we here. somewhere in Brooklyn. I ain't gonna tell y'all where we at, but we nah, in Brooklyn. They know, they know, they oh, they know, know where we at. Location, baby, it's the Met Cave. Baby, right, you know what I'm saying? We in Hook. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know where we at, but y'all don't know where we at. We in the Hook, man. They drop a pin. You know what I mean? They know where we at. So, yo, you're one of the most prolific scorers in NBA history, but you playing a little football, you know what I'm saying? Coming up. I did. What was it? What was uh? You know, everybody was gonna say they was nice as shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. now, now you gotta think, I was, I was a different build back then. Right. I was running back number two, two. Okay. That's everybody. Everybody was gonna say. I ain't gonna say. Look, I ain't gonna say. I, I, I was like. I played big Cooking. time football. Like right, I played right. like pop one and neighborhood yeah. rec centers versus yeah. hoods. Yeah. I played that, but I was really good at it. Yeah. I was running back. 
You understand? I wasn't as tall, but I was running back. I had a big Emmett Smith shoulder pads. I used to put the big shoulder pads. I used to put the, the, the books in my pads and shit for the, for the you know what I mean? Like I was, we, I, yeah, we nothing, was on that. Nothing was ever measured you know or calculated. Just give them some gear. That's yeah. a fact. Hold on. We, we, we wanted to be the loudest sounding team when we hit our pads. Mm. Yeah. Hit them pads. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> here, yeah. Blind down. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, that, was, yeah, yeah. that was us. We wanted to be loud. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So as, as kids, so the moment that I stopped fucking with football is when I realized I'm not willing to go across the middle. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. The because Oklahoma as drum. I started getting older, they, I went from running back to quarterback to yeah. receiver. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, nah, I'm glad my high school didn't have a football team. And I also <laughs> knew that I wasn't willing to dedicate myself to the sport of football. Right. It's different. It, because that's a different type of dedication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for sure. My brother always said, like, the Oklahoma draw has created a lot of basketball and a lot of baseball oh, yeah. players. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and look, so so how you say, you know, you were big at the time, so you talk about, like, that change of players. Like, everybody wants to do Oklahoma when you're the biggest guy. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? When yeah. you're the biggest guy, you're calling guys out. But once you get to high school and you get to college, and for me, I was, the, like, the number one recruit coming out. So now, you know, being a number one recruit in high school has nothing to be with the potential number one draft pick in the NFL, right? right? So then right. I'm coming in and went to Oregon. I have Panay Sewell, so my coaches, they they lining me up. It's like, you know, Ooh. you come in, a rookie, yeah. got to go guard the the vet. And it was like, oh, I got to do Oklahoma's with him. Oh. Today. That's what oh, I'm okay. saying, B. <laughs> right now. I'm not with oh, that. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. I ain't Bro, with that. I'm coaching them, and I'm like, yeah, but then That's sometimes I'm like, That's two car oh. crashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's car crashes. Yeah. I'm not yeah. fucking with that. Up. I mean, it, then you say like, okay, I'm gonna get dunked on, and this guy's genitals are in my mouth, and I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying? Like, part of the left, part of the left, part of the left over here. I'm just saying, bro. Part of the left over here. Part of the left over here. Now you live it. Now you gotta live with your kids seeing you get dunked on. He hanging on the rim with his tongue out. It's, That's a fact. You know, it's, it's, it's give or take. It's you got Shaq coming down, he fucking or Metal World Peace give you an elbow. Oh, like, yo. I'd rather that though. I'm not. I'm. I don't prefer. It's every snap though in football. Go. It's, okay. You, know, you okay. just jump This is the truth. And... This is the, this is the truth. The truth is, what I want to be a wide receiver. No. <laughs> well, I want to play offense. Yeah. No, I wouldn't want to play offense. Your offensive position guys, is different though. Because I don't. My where people miss D linemen. People always think D linemen are the dumbest guys. We have the lowest impact. Yeah. Even though we're impacting the same amount, right. I'm going two steps versus these safeties, these line, the Ray, like a guy like Ray Lewis. I, I don't know how he played the way he played as long as he played. Yeah. God is good. He different. God is God good. God is good. Yeah. He's different. But you talk about you. You, you got to take care of your body, bro. You have to. So yeah. oh, so but oh, you said you just said some shit. That, that the average person ain't gonna know that. Uh oh, no, it's just real. It's, yeah. This is mm -hmm. facts coming from inside information. Source. You said the defensive line. Okay. Right? So so uh, so well, I have, well look, I have a so I was just uh at the game in B more the other day, yep. right? So me and me and Rudy Gay, right? He gonna hate me for saying this. So me and Rudy <laughs> Gay is we chopping it up, and we were talking about you. We asked the same question. Yo, you play football? Well, everybody know that. So we're like, yo, what you uh? <laughs> What, you play? what position you play? What you play? Like, yo, because I was told they tried to throw me on the D line. <laughs> yeah. The minute he said that, everybody started dying laughing. <laughs> yo, bro, D line? You just dumb ass off the D line. Like, you, like everybody right. went in on the book. You not for that. When you really think about it, yeah. that's where the action is. I got the, I got the, I got the hardest and the easiest position in the NFL. It's the hardest because I'm going against. The second, well, I won't call them the second most athletic because they're really not the second most. But when you talk about size, strength, Speed. force output, yeah. like when you talk about the physics of it, an offense lineman is the most dangerous, you know, mm. other than like a, a safety coming down full speed, like, yeah. you know, a spear, an offense lineman. They talk about to physically punch them, you know, or press them every play. It's different. I'm 250. The average old lineman is 320. Yeah. Mm. So you talk about just the mindset that I have to have or like a Lawrence Taylor or any, you know, all these guys who are relentless on defense, like, yo, there is no sub. Right. We're playing 70 straight snaps of, there ain't no fouls, ain't no, and, and for me, I play basketball too. So mm -hmm. how you say you play, maybe I probably was a little better in basketball than you are in football, but you know, that's a, that's a story for a little later. Absolutely. <laughs> but talk about, you know, the, the difference in the mentality of the game, like, you seen football players play basketball? Yeah, I, I done had riots at AAU games. I had Yo, just off the because the mentality I is different. Playing with I'm boxing out. I'm putting elbows. I'm I stopped playing with football players. I'm trying to find the tallest guy and getting his hip and, and let Bro, him. You know, I, mean, I, I, I used to play. Go, go, but hold on. I used to play against the Ravens back in the day. I was in high school, like college, 
and we had this 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 uh this athletic center yeah. with with all the Ravens used to come and the ones who used to think they could play used to go play and we play on the weekend. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to go out there and fuck around with them. They were super athletic. Yeah, like a lot of, Russell, lot of Russell Westbrooks, a lot Yo, of Ray John Rondo. Yes. I'm talking about super 45 inch verts. They, Crazy. They, it's Not different. a lot of jumpers. Yeah, and everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jumpers, my yeah, only and everything. thing was, bro, I'm just trying to get to the basket. You ain't got to punch me in the chest. <laughs> bro, you ain't got to fire. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Fire yeah. y'all stand me up. Like, <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> hey, look, this, I'm <laughs> this is the thing, though. And I, I, I had a coach. My coach was from Boston, my AAU coach back in the day. And he used to play with us. This dude was older, but he used to like, it wasn't no fouls. And I got that from East Coast. Like, I don't know if that's a, it's really a thing or you oh, don't call yeah, fouls. Yeah, you know, outside. Yeah, if you call a foul, take it back to the top You're of the key. Clown, yeah. You can't call a foul and then yeah. the bucket go in and we about to keep playing. You got to wait to the fifth check game to yeah, come back. Check, yeah. check, check it up or, you know, start it. So you talk about just that. And even the old days, you talk about that mentality of like, this is, we playing basketball, but you're going to have to go through me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, but how you get how you get your that mentality? Because you you 23, yeah, and I, that's not a knock on your age and yeah, saying yeah. that younger is it. It's just you ain't been through enough mm -hmm. in, in in the sense of the sport and, mm -hmm. and and grinding, and you still learning the game, and you still trying to figure out how to be greater, how yeah. to be great. You get what I'm saying? So. What's the mentality with that? And I, you know, I don't want to get so serious with it, but like nah, but that's, that's the, the, the mindset that you have that you have at right now, me just chopping mm -hmm. it up with you right now at 23, you're not, there's a bunch of 23 year olds that's not coming here sitting and being able to speak intellectually the yeah. way that, that you are. Where'd that come from? So one thing that I don't want to preach on here is rags to riches. Mm. That story is over. Ooh. Mike gone. That story's oversold. Yeah, like we're, we're done with rags to riches. But when you talk about what the rags do to the mindset, mm. it's about, you know, they say good times make for soft people and bad times make for tough guys. You know, so you talk about growing up in inner city, South, uh, South Central Los Angeles, you talk about the adversities and blah, 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 blah. Those didn't fuel me, but it gave me the insight to see like, I, don't, I would, this is what I don't want my life. So now I need to go find out what I want my life to be and what it's going to take to get there. Yep. Football was my avenue. Obviously, I was a big guy. Most of us, you know, you 6'5 and at 13 years what old. What you play? Yeah, what you do, what you play. And <laughs> yeah. obviously, for a lot of African Americans, entertainment is our lane for success, which is, it's it, it's not right, but it's the way it is. It is okay. So you talk it about- It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. We can't, you know, you got to use it to your advantage. So for me, I, know, I, I realized like, okay, basketball is good, but- like you say, I'm as tall as Chris Paul. I can't, I can't dribble that well. I got a little, you know, I got a little elbow jumper, but I'm not really finna make nothing shake in reality. You know, I'm right. playing against guys, and it's funny. A lot of my my grade, you know, um, KJ uh, uh, Martin, mm -hmm. uh, Bo Bo, uh, Big O, uh, talking about guys in the NBA. Those guys I played AAU against, right. and that made me realize, like, okay, those are the guys going to the NBA. Let me see if I can hang out with the guys going to the NFL because I, I look more like them. <laughs> but um, so when you talk about the sport and then another tangent is in college, right? When I tell you you're a freshman going up against these guys, it, you got to earn your respect. That's a fact. So for me, I was a smaller, skinnier guy and these guys just pushed me out the way. We call it getting tossed out the club. You get tossed out the club on film a couple of times in front of 100 people. I literally, I remember a day in college, I told myself like, I cannot go around them. I have to go through them. And it is sick to say, like, I got to, <laughs> it's going to hurt. That's what I literally told myself. It's going to hurt. <laughs> but crazy. I'd rather it hurt. The, it's the pain, uh, the pain of discipline See, or the pain of regret. That's what I'm saying. The it's, minute I knew. That's what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm not willing to go across the middle. Yeah. I'm not, first of all, I'm not willing to play in this type of temperature. I'm done with this shit. I, I walked out there the other day. I said, there ain't no way so, in so hell hear me out. I'm so, playing So hear me shit. out, though. When you look at the opportunities of going to make a million dollars to go sack a quarterback, yeah. or however many millions go sack a quarterback, or sitting at the house with your lights off, it's like, it's like, right. I'm I'm all in. but that's a fact. And, and I, and I, love it. I was doing it for free anyway. I've been as fact. a kid playing yeah. it, when I didn't have the resources and the help and right. the engineer, you know. But to, that's what you're saying. It goes back to that to that upbringing where you're like, yo, I see this as a way out of here. But then, but then, that's why I went to basketball. You can't be naive though, I right? Ain't, I ain't, this football shit ain't for me. I started talking jokes, motherfucker. I started being, I stopped being a funny motherfucker in front of the bodega and I was like, yo, let me get in front of a camera yeah, and make some money behind this shit. There's levels, man. <laughs> this is a question for you, right? And I, and I tell myself this, if you weren't, and I, I assume you were high coming out the draft and high going into college, but if you weren't. I'm high all the time. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you weren't at that level of you know, success in the sport, would you have continued chasing the dream? 
of football or no, just bas- basketball? basketball? Like if you were at that high level of, of, you know, prestige of That's he's going to be the truth. Like, you know, I know at a young age, yeah, people yeah, tell yeah, me, I like you this. I like this. I like, so if you yeah. weren't the guy, would you have still chased the dream? At that time? No. Because that was all I had. Mm. It was either making it or not. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So right. it wasn't no other options in between that. It wasn't like there was more resources and, and, and outlets mm-hmm. and avenues to go play other basketball or, other yeah. where, to yeah. other, other places. Yeah. Today we got G League, we got mm. Euro League, we got Australia, we got OTE. We, you know what still I mean? It's like money. there's so yeah. many you know, different ways to still follow mm-hmm. that passion. Mm-hmm. Whereas back then in the, the 90s, yo, what we doing? So, it's like that's the mentality. That's the only option. So people ask me, would you play football if you weren't the number one recruit or you weren't a high guy? No. Why would I? You know, obviously we know I, we choose to play the game, yeah. even basketball. You know your knees ain't going to be the same as somebody else who didn't play ball. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, there's certain things that come with the sport and the deterioration of your body comes with the choice of playing a sport. Right. But if you asked me, would I chase a dream that's not going to pay the bills? Mm. No chance. That's a fact. Right. No t- even going through college, for me personally, I was ostracized because I know that every second of the day, these coaches, these people who are all, you know, you're all world, you're this, they're just ready to replace me. They're looking for the next all world. Yeah. That's a fact. So it's like, if I'm not treating it like a business, I'm losing. I'm cheating myself. That's my. That's the. That's what the fuck I'm talking about right here. This. That's why. Yo, listen. No, 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 listen. You let knowledge. You let knowledge be born just now. That's why I asked you that. Mm -hmm. You. I'm around 23 year olds a lot. Yeah. I don't get this level of conversation and and build sessions that I would get with another 23 year old. That is in your position. Let me tell you my mission. Let me tell you my mission. And this is truly my personal mission. I call myself the concierge, and it's, it's a joke that my friend said. My friend called me, he called me concierge because I appreciate the wisdom that I get from my OGs, mm. and I take it and I disperse it amongst my peers. And, where you it's like, it. and I respect it, where it's like, for me, I started a foundation, it's the dream foundation, and it's about mentorship. And you talk about you, me, whoever, wherever you are now, it was impacted by the, the men, the women, the grandmothers, the, you know, all these people who impacted you. And it's like, we can't steer away from that. So how you say, you know, a lot of young guys don't have older people, right? You talk about the older generation, younger generation, it's a disconnect. That's and a it's fact. like, it's up to the younger generation to ask those questions. It's on us. We can't expect. But what if they don't know the to ask. Questions to you ask. don't know. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know, know what you don't know. You gotta know. be receptive. So, too. so, so, so now it's accountability. Right. <laughs> we're sitting here. We're sitting here on a podcast that's about to reach a million people. So it's up to those people to go research and say, "Hey, these people have some information that I may want. Let me use it. Spread the word." Right. That's a and fact. That's, and that's just. It's like approaching it from a practical standpoint. Where did you get that? From you know what I'm saying was that yeah OG? I'm still fucked up yeah. right, you know what I mean because it's like, like, yo, cause it's, hey, yeah, a lot of people like, like yo no, it's real like I'm a lot of grown men who that don't have right. that type of perspective they thinking today. like the they thinking with like with this instead of with this so you know what I mean so it, I, I've had really good mentors in my life obviously when you talk about you know I've seen both sides when you grow up in South Central LA of course half your family is dead or in jail the other half is on drugs the other half is trying to make a way any way they can. Right. So you talk about seeing all of those different microcosms and understanding like, okay, well, where do I fit? I'm not a thug. I'm not. I don't agree with this. I don't agree with that. So it's like, what how can I find a reality that makes the most sense for me? And what made the most sense was saving my money, budgeting. Mm -hmm. I want to have money tomorrow. I don't. I could go and 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 the, I think the biggest point and one of my friends, his his father was a great mentor to me. His name is Antonio Patterson. Shout out to you. He, he always told me money is power. Mm. So every time you spend it, you lose your, your power. And it's like, if you're not spending it on something that's going to multiply your power, mm. then you're, you're losing. Damn, bars. Yo, what? <laughs> I was like, damn. Those bars. Are like, like Lewis's lounge out here. Just bars. <laughs> and, and it's, Crazy. It's, and it's, and, and I want you to know that none, I'm not coming up with any of this. And that's, that's kind of like you're my knock. That's my knock yeah. that everybody thinks like when I speak like this, oh, you're... 
you think you know every, you think you know it all. You think no, I literally just listen and I repeat what I agree with. If I agree and I think that this is smart or educated or put in, you know, me in a better position, I, I'm gonna agree with you know. Uh, uh, I'm aligned with it. Don't be afraid to ask questions, man. Facts. Don't be you afraid, to, don't ask be afraid yeah. to ask and questions. And for the youth, be that's who I'm talking to. Don't be 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 man. Dude, I was the number one player in college, and I was also the same guy sitting in front of the class raising my hand, and the rest of the guys in the back. I never cared. I laughed every day. And this is, if you ask anybody who went to college with me, I would go every day and they thought it was a joke. I would talk about greatness. And this is, this is the first time I've said this out publicly. I would talk about greatness to these guys. I'm talking about whether it's the weight room, whether it's the practice field, whether it's at home. I'm saying, man, my boy, he's come to me. He said he'd do 50 push-ups an hour. When he said that, I'm like, damn, 50 push-ups an hour. Let me do that. I'm little. I'm like, all right. So now we started this competition and we started to get, we started to drive, push each other and, and drive. And it's like, Look, look where it comes. And now everybody used to laugh. And I used to be the kid like, oh, I used to sell candy in school. I used to sell brownies in school. I used to do all this. And people used to laugh at me, literally laugh like, oh, this guy's a joke. This guy's a clown. Ten years later, I'm the same guy, still an entrepreneur, still in these characteristics that I had. I just developed them. You and blossom. I, it kept you going. Blossom. And I didn't go with the tide. Everybody else, all the cool guys. Yeah. And you could attest, everybody that was cool back in school. Yeah. They're nowhere to be found now. Yeah. The black rose going through the concrete. Yo, man. facts, bro. <laughs> That's all. That's but, crazy. But, but, but with that, oh, I'm, I'm, I, damn, I, I can sit and talk to you all day, yeah, yeah. because uh, you in New York, too, man. So Come on, we, we need, That's we what need, it is. Come on, New York, we need this, this is the first invite. Like, Listen, we need more of this conversation, I'm not Hollywood. I'm going to be here. I'm from We need more of this conversation, man. So you you was speaking on mindset, right, and being able to lock in and understanding who you are actually the truth. Who's double teaming and who's, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. how am I going to get past this guy? Because you, to me, I feel like you have, we talk about a greatness gene Thank on you. here a lot in basketball. You have that gene. I, just, I appreciate If, that if you're willing to keep going and keep yeah. going and deal with yeah. what the tolerance. Are, are, you, tolerance are you willing to tolerate everything? Yeah. Every day, day in and day yeah. out. Like, do you really want to be great? Or is LT you on your wall? Man. You get what I'm saying? Bro, it's yeah. like, Bro. That's the level of greatness. When you sit and I have a, and I'll, I'll give shout, I always give shout outs because people impact me so well. So we just uh, signed a guy, Bobby O'Karake. He's our middle linebacker. Absolutely. He got signed from uh, Indiana, you know, this past year. He played with us. And I think I literally sat and I thank God that they uh, brought him on the team. And I talked to him and we talk, you know, frequently, but his ambition, he's on year five now, right? I'm on year three. But when you talk about who he is at this moment and who I am at this moment, we're not the same player. He embodies who I want to be, right? Yes. When you talk about finding motivation, when you talk, right. and he literally like told me like, bro, every day you come in here, you got to find motivation. And it's like being a guy in the league, he, he say this because he just got paid, right? He got his, you know, that second deal. You have conversations is different. Good. He, said, he, said, he, said, he, said, he said, you know what he said? Uh, he, 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 he made fun of me. Uh, and he get in the cold tub, right? And he get in the cold tub. He put his old, all his neck all the way down up to here. Cold tub, me, I'm going to the hips. You know, I'm like, ah, uh, you know. <laughs> He's like, like, damn, KT, you ain't going to give your shoulders no love? I'm like, man, shoulders, man. Oh, my shoulders don't need no love. He said, man, your shoulders ain't worth 100 million. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumping in head first. He said, he said, oh, your shoulders ain't worth greatness. Oh yeah, okay. And I'm like, hold on, you got me messed up. Let me get it. Like, it be little oh, shit. It be little yeah. gems like that that you be you may think a motherfucker is joking, which we are it, joking, yeah. but it, and then I, I could have took ego. I could have took bro. the other route. I could have yeah. said, forget you. You Fuck don't know what you talking about, bro. But it's like. If he's just saying something positive, even if I don't agree with it, even right. if it's going to be hard or hurt, why not try it? It's constructive criticism. Bro, if you listen, you might just hear something. You got, two, you got two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> to drink 1800. This is an ice thing at 1800. I'm drinking ice. <laughs> no, nah, not for you, chat. We, yeah, 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 yeah. He's on a street but, but shout out, come on, man. Out, Can we talk about the, the the ownership and the collaborations? Oh, and, I love this. And, and the and the the empowerment because I think that it's overlooked, right? You see Melo on a camera, and you're like, oh, this is a legend. He just owned a podcast. Like, no, this is ownership. We he, he owns the create like the building that we're in. Creative Seven, baby. He, he owns it, right? If you if you want to control something or you don't like the way things are being done. Go own it. Mm. That's what, yeah, yeah, man. Go listen, I said that. Listen, that show. Go own it. Yo, listen, I told you off camera, yo, God, listen. Go we got to sit you down so we can 
<laughs> they need to hear these bars from you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we, I, one thing we I just, New York, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to steal y'all fan base, though. That's what I'm saying. I don't want, I want them to understand. <laughs> listen, listen. They can like it with they, both. They, 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 listen, you, you direct you, that question to me. You direct legend. that question to him listen. as a fan. <laughs> you a legend. <laughs> you a legend, but I'm not turning down no one on ones. All right? Yeah. I told, look, I, I made a joke. Listen, I made a joke with Draymond. I said, I said, what you think? Because uh, we, we work out in LA I think, together. I'm not good one on one. Draymond will get you, though. I said, I said, yeah, no, he going to get me. I said, but what you think you going to get me by? That's the question. So what you think you going to get me by? A game to what? 11. Ones and twos. Draymond. No, me, me and you or me and Draymond? What you me think? and who? Draymond told me it's going to be 11 to zero. No chance. Draymond, might, you, you, you might score a couple points. Like That's you, it. If I'm scoring a couple points on an NBA player, that means I had a chance at the G League. That's you all I need. You ain't got a chance in hell over here. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm 11 <laughs> over. Right, so I'm, what he going to do is he going to say you can't shoot. No, 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 no. And I'm going to say, all right. No, no, I'm going to say, all right. He don't know that I got his release package. I know the stipulations. package. You know what I'm saying? I got the shot. I know the stipulations of all this. I know who I'm going up against. Oh, this, okay, I got to Yeah, you going to make me go left. I can't dribble. I can't shoot. I can barely see out my left eye. So I know. Yeah, fuck that. So I was asking the question about your mindset and like locking in. Like, I'm a Ravens fan. You know that. I like individuals outside of the Ravens, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I like the sport, I love the sport. Let me just get that off. I love yeah. the sport, I love yeah. individual talent. Mm -hmm. When you fucking with Lamar, mm -hmm. and you preparing for Lamar, I, I, wanna, I wanna direct this question where people understand yeah. it. Yeah. When you are preparing for Lamar, mm -hmm. and you know he's preparing for you, mm -hmm. What is that cat and mouse? So I would I would say this. First of all, I, I really don't think I can beat you in a one on one over play. I'm just put that for the record. So people don't think <laughs> no, like no, no, my no, insurance no. ain't good enough to play one on one. Yeah, one that's with him, so it's two dribbles. Take yeah. clips off of this. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, think, <laughs> don't think I'm actually. They gonna pull up. Uh, they gonna pull up YouTube. Yeah, 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 I'm missing free throws. I'm missing free throws. Listen, I'm just playing. Listen, y'all. You should get together. I am a 24 hour fitness legend. That's a fact. Other than that. Other than Venice Beach and the 24 hour fitness, I ain't got no respect. You know, it's all love. It's it's all love. It's all love. That's it. But um, when you talk about first Lamar Jackson, right? Let's just start with him. I, I'm not a fan of anybody in NFL. Why? Because I'm in NFL. So I'm not giving no other team respect. You gotta for, eat the kill. For the first record. I'm, I am, you gotta I am, kill or eat. I am, I am against, I, I'm, I'm trying to get everybody. If you would have said anything different, I would have had so, a lot so of respect I'm a, for you. That's what I'm saying. First, yeah. I'm gonna start there everybody by saying, food. I'm not a fan of nobody. Second, I'm sorry by saying there are two people that I think are the greatest people to play the sport of football currently right now playing. Patrick Mahomes is one of them. Lamar Jackson is the next one. Mm. I currently think Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the NFL right now, speaking about this year right now. Mm. Now, with that being said, I played him last year and you talk about um, preparing for Lamar, right? First, you got to prepare. First, you got to figure out where you fit in the whole scheme. Right. It, you know, you got guys on your team. If you're the guy, you got to know that he's the guy and I got to find my role in my part. Yeah. Right. So understanding that I'm not, you know, um, the whole team, I can only focus on my side. So when I'm watching Lamar for me, yeah, for you, I got to figure out which side is he rolling out to? If he rolls out right, he's looking to throw. If he rolls out left, he's looking to run. Right. If, you know, if we're we in, asking you to like, cause we got to play. Yeah. So we ain't ask you to give that. Oh, my bad. That's too much. That's too much. I'm giving the sauce. I'm giving the sauce. I'm giving the sauce. That's too much. I got you. That's too much. So long story short, just to put it in, in, in broad terms, yeah. I'm looking at his antics, right? Okay. What, is, what, is he, what is the defense that these other teams are playing that's making him react this way? And then what are we going to do to make him react certain ways? And then what do I do that fits inside the scheme to get him. So tendencies. When you talk about last year when we played him, that was before his contract renewed, right? Mm -hmm. So what was a big thing about Lamar before his contract renewed? Oh, he can't he's, he's not a pocket passer. He's not a pocket passer. So guess what? When we got when it finally got to us, what do we know? They not they don't want Lamar to run. So we're not about to sit here and you know, spy and do all this because he was trying to get a contract. So in, in our mind, this is the game within the game. Right. He's not about to hurt himself and trying to run and do all that. He probably ran for 30, 30 rushing yards. And for him, that's low. Right. You know, yeah. so you talk about that first step of understanding mm. the, the, the game within the game. And then when you get out there, it's like, okay, I know he's trying to make a play. As a defender, as a, as a defensive end who sacks quarterbacks, I want to play against the quarterbacks that think they're the best. Mm. Because... 
they are going to try to make a play, which is amazing because in the NFL and the NBA, you put the ball in the best guy's hand and you, li- you live by the sword, die by the sword, yep. right? That's so when you got guys like him at that stature, either he's going to torch you or he's going to you know, do something risky. So it's up to, to you to find out how to do that. Gratefully, Lamar Jackson was my first sack in the NFL, blessing strip sack to end the game. Um, shout out to that. Shout out to that. But it was, you know, that was, my, that was my welcome to the NFL. Yeah, and and it's funny, welcome, even before welcome. that, I, they asked me, you know, who would you want to sack in the NFL? And I'm like, the hardest guy that I think there is to sack would probably be Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Mike Vick's retired, so. Yeah, no, the next guy up was Lamar. So, so yeah, it was, you know, I, I think personally, this, this AFC championship is going to dictate the Super Bowl. That's my opinion. This is the Super Bowl. This is, yeah, this is, this is the Super Bowl. Whoever wins this. But, you know, football is any given Sunday. So you can't, you can't say it's the Super Bowl. Because God bro. forbid somebody, somebody go in this game and give it they all. And obviously, in, you know, the injury rate is 100%. No, for sure. Can, no, you I'm know, just saying that anything the, the, can happen. The, no, that's the truth. Yeah. The excitement, yeah, the excitement around yeah. the game mm-hmm. and the energy around the game and, and this matchup and mm-hmm. also being in the AFC. Like, right. that's, that's a different... Come on. Type of energy, you know what I mean? So when you talk about those two conglomerates clashing. Yeah, that's big. That was big. You understand? Yeah. So it's, we, it's, they it's were you, got, make, you got Mahomes, Lamar. Come on. OBJ's a story within himself. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? You got Swift. the Kelsey. Taylor Swift. <laughs> you got, I'm getting to that. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, the yeah. Kelsey. Gotta mention her. Exactly. And you got Taylor Swift in the dick. The soon to be Kelsey. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Travis Kelsey with a three yard or something. Kelsey swerved him. You, you give it. You already paid him to tell him. I'm sitting down there, jumped. I, did that, tried, I tried to get in the camera shot. Hey, I'm here too. <laughs> they get they get free live hits ads bro, on her. Yeah, bro, bro, straight bro. up. I want you to know. Time out. Oh, Tr- Taylor Swift is over here. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift gets. More police escorts than the team. Like she pulled she up, she pull pull up. up. No, 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 the team got to pull over to the side. Yo. Taylor Swift pull right nah, there. As she should, though. As she should. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 as she should. That shit, this shit will go crazy. Yeah, as she, she should, should, man. Yo, she went up to fucking some shit in Jersey, like Asbury Park, bro, and shut that shit down. Bro, bro that we, 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 we got to stop. Like, she, she, she was like, she is who she is. All right, so let's. So this is who she is. Since we're on Taylor Swift, let's let's give the cheers to her. What? She redropped all her music and is now the best selling. Like talk about boss moves, talk about oh, ownership. Yeah. You don't like what's being done, own it. And she did it. <laughs> no, listen, I'm gonna cheers to that. I'm gonna shout out to shout out to Taylor, Taylor for that. But I just let you know, T Swift, when you cut out to that pigeon coop this you weekend. Know Holla at your boys. Holla at your boys, man. Yeah. You understand? When that all black get the flock in this weekend, <laughs> yeah. holla at me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got we got the town, T yeah. Swift. So holla at me when you, you know, when you come to the town. We get you, ah, ah, ah. You feel what I'm saying? You don't have something, ah, ah, ah. I'm going to let y'all know. I don't know what, ah, 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 y'all think y'all got. <laughs> what, ah, ah, y'all think y'all got. But I'm telling you, Taylor Swift is good. She don't yeah, need y'all. She good. She, 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 she going to Baltimore, she's going to be straight. <laughs> that's, that's the she point. Gotta she got to come through us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be straight. You Please get what check, I'm in, check in, Taylor. Check in with them. We good, man. We good. So, no, fuck you. I'm not letting you off this hook as a fan. No, because. He got me, he got me. No, because, no, this motherfucker wore a Giants jersey over here. Stop did. playing. Come on. You know how we get out. But it wasn't just Come about on. the Giants jersey. It's the truth. It wasn't oh, about man. the Giants jersey. Ain't no bandwagons over here. He wore the Giants jersey, the blue with the with the with the murder with the, black uh, tee, black long with the murder hat. <laughs> with the uh. And he hit it with a little bit of uh. And he with, had the he had the rotten apple with the worm the rest- coming out on the rotten Come apple. On. Come on, bro. New York City, baby. Stop playing. So as a fan. <laughs> stop playing. That's what we say. Stop well, playing. What y'all doing next year? I, I'm going to get to him as yeah, a yeah. fan. So I want to see if the fan and the player and the athlete is really aligned. Yeah. He's not a problem. You know what I'm saying? We don't like just say he, that. You see how you're trying to laugh? No, we like, yo, he's not a problem. You see how y'all see me? I'm going to give you the ball. I'm going to give you the ball. I'm going to give you When you got drafted, I did this. Fucking go. Yeah, like me that. too. Me okay. too. Like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. he's more than one. So I knew he was coming. Okay. I, I want you, know you to know, know, Giants fans, because you guys are so hard on us, for the ones who really are appreciative of what we do, thank you. Seriously. That's what it we is. we and love you guys. Appreciate we, that. we, we love you guys. Know, know. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We love you guys and we, and we really do work hard. Like, they be clowning and talking about all that. We work hard. They know yeah. that. They know that. That's why they keep coming to see y'all play. Yeah, we appreciate that. To me, it's just like, you know, it's it's personnel, bro. Like you just need certain pieces to make bro, sure. Bro, I don't want to hear that shit. Give me, <laughs> give me. Yo, we need the a middle at front office. Middle right front office. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I'm going in there and I'm drafting straight old linemen, bro. Okay. I'm drafting straight old linemen. You gave DJ 
what is it, 40 million? You can't yeah. ask him nothing. You he can't, can't you, it's you. You can't, it's him. Mm-hmm. No, you I'm saying, you can't ask him. Just go, check go, for me, make yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's the correct I'm number. Verify, I'm verify. Verify. It's the go, correct go, number. Go ahead. He got the big bag, okay. so you know he ain't going nowhere. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that's the quarterback. He's fast in a straight line. He's not like Lamar Shifty. You know what I'm saying? Like He got that straight line speed like a motherfucker, but you got to open it up for him. I feel like he could do a lot of, a lot of shit he did on his, on his feet, you know what I'm saying? Like when people was like, "Oh, he, this motherfucker's mobile." As a fan, what puts in, what 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 gets the Giants? I think a strong, to that point where it's like, "Oh, we we okay, we right, we here, we a we strong, good." A strong O line and like a couple weapons for bro, because so Barkley's Saquon's there, like receivers. receivers. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Like slot guys, like shifty guys that you can run. We like, need speed, speed. You okay. know what I mean? Like I want to say Tyreek Hill because he's like a he, that motherfucker's yeah, an alien. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, but somebody in that mold. Copy. Like a shifty, quick guy, accelerator that you could just dump him the ball, and he's gonna get you the yards after the catch type shit. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. That. Thank you, know you as mean? a fan. Little old line, couple weapons for DJ. Yeah. My man right here, getting a- everybody motivated. Yo, we in the weight room, we okay. fucking everybody up, and that's it. Good. Okay. That's how they smashed Tom Brady, bro. Them front four was getting on him, bro. Putting the pressure on that motherfucker, that. bro. You gotta have a front four. Yeah, yeah bro. You pressing the quarterback, own, bro. That's you, the name of the game. You bro. have to own the box. Mm-hmm. That's it. On the left. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, <laughs> both, both sports. You, you have you gotta to own the box. Yeah. 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 You don't own that's the box. Fact. That shit is like, that's war. Straight Shaq up. keep getting offensive rebounds, dunking on you. You think Shaq can play you on the offensive line? You think Shaq can play on the offensive line? You think he can play on the offensive line? Or defensive Shaq, you put that Dexter Lawrence, you put Shaq, defensive line. Even because who's who's gonna step in front of him? Nose guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. who's gonna literally? You see Dexter Lawrence. Dexter Lawrence that's is the a, biggest yo, human listen, on earth, bro. And I say this with a straight face because he is the biggest, most athletic, most. Nah, that's a fact. He. It's crazy. That's that's that that's nobody can do. do Even a guy like, his size bro. doesn't pack what he packs. I respect nah. y'all, man. That shit is different, bro. Different. Yeah. Yeah. He's built like a fucking strip club bouncer, but he's been moving <laughs> everywhere. Bro. He's, he's like the strip club. He's the dude. Yeah, yo, big man, big man. You can't touch the dancers, big man. Like you know what I'm saying? Listen, when he walk, yeah, bro, you know. So, and by the way, I'm not answering. You know what? I'm leaving that question for the fan. The sexy, the sexy, the sexy, the sexy. I'm leaving that question for the fan. <laughs> what no, the Giants no. did. I want let's to, talk about it. Because we like fans' perspective. We do, but let's talk about it because you got to know. When I got drafted, I thought we were going to win 11 games. I said that because I'm, I'm a GM guy. I'm a GM guy. So yeah. I'm a guy who's like, I'm stacking up the whole, I'm seeing who we got. Yep. I'm looking at, you know, I'm watching every video. My I'm brother looking. brother in law told me that. We're going to win 11 games. Last year, I said that, right? Yeah. We ended up making the playoffs, winning one playoff game. We ended up losing. We ended up going. I forgot the record. Who knows? But it was somewhere close to yeah. 10, 9 games. It was somewhere in that area. Um, this year, I'm like, we might win the Super Bowl. I'm, I, I'm thinking 12 and 5. I'm thinking Super Bowl. Yep. I'm thinking like, we just got Bobby. We just got these guys in. Yep. It's like, yo, we're about to. One Dale's coming out. Of, we're, we're, Dale's on coming out. On paper. And through training camp. Yes. Right? Y'all was looking good. We early. was looking good. Right? Open the night. I kid you not. And I am not a guy. I don't blame. I don't make no excuse for nothing. Sometimes you get blown out. That's that's what it is. Yeah. But when I tell you that day, if you went to that opening day game, every time we were on offense, it poured rain. Soon as the defense got out there, it was dry. Right. Yeah. And that, who, it's elements. It's football. Who cares? Right, right. That's that Jersey and, weather. That's, right? yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> who actually cares? You cannot go sit here and say, that's oh, you lost the game weather. because of the weather. Who cares? That's not the excuse. But from a defensive player, it was like, yo, nothing went right. Just nothing went right. Our best tackle got hurt Facts. chasing down a blocked punt at the beginning of the game. That's crazy. That's just like, even them, block, if you watch that first drive, I know for all the Giants fans who watched the first drive mm-hmm. of the first game, you were like, oh, we got a chance. Oh, we, you know, people was, they was going to Vegas oh, after that. They like, yeah, yo, we bro. cooking. And then f- football's football. Yep. Things, things fell apart certain places. Your quarterback is your most important player. You got to, you know, Situations, you know, it is what it is. You it's know, hard to up. adapt. It's, in sports, it's hard to adapt. Yeah, quickly when your original plan doesn't it's, work. It's all that you put. You put all your effort and in, in everything to your original That's plan, the and then that goes sideways for Look whatever reason. And it's the it's the salary cap what people don't realize. That's what it, but, that's but, like. So, but that's always the issue. Yeah, money. It's money. Yeah, it's always the issue. You pay Daniel Jones forty million. We not, and it, it was a great. I, I me. I believe. A lot of people was mad at that. A lot of people was mad at that, but I was like, listen. Let me tell you what I'm mad at, and it's the only thing I'll say about that. What I'm mad about 
is that Saquon, because if you look at the game, the tape, Saquon was responsible for at least 30% of our explosive plays. Oh, yeah. Not more. Talking about the year we won the playoff game. So for me and for the integrity of, you know, working together and hard work and we all believe the same things, I feel like Saquon should have got paid first. Mm, That's what I feel. Enough. And maybe, you know, who, who I don't know the back end. Maybe it's a franchise. Maybe it's an extension. Maybe it's blah, blah, blah. That's none of my business. I don't, you know, That's just I focus of, on me. That's the respect we was talking about. Like, exactly. It's, it's, With it's, the you, team chemistry yeah, and all Because like, we on. see it. Why not? Like, yeah. when you think of Saquon, who you think of? That's it. Giant. He's the face of the game. Yeah, and, and it, it's tough, though, because as a player, you, you, you know, as a team, we know who's putting in work and not. That was the big, yeah. the biggest thing my coach I learned. He said, I listen, the only way you're going to get respect is by what you do on the field. I'm talking about when I got there, I was a number five draft pick. I, nobody liked me. As soon as I sacked Lamar Jackson, everybody was, man, good game. Oh, my boy. Yeah. You good? You need, you need some extra food? It was, it was amazing. Hey, get the game ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's, about, it's about what you do, man. And, and I, I believe in what we got. I think, you know, you know the, the back office, they're going to handle the draft well. I, I think – they scheme and put te the team together. I say like I would. I like the pieces they got. I like what they're doing. It's their first, you know, couple draft classes. This year didn't go too good. I love the coach. I love the what we got going. Our defense coordinator, you know, they ended up parting ways. Do you have a good rapport with like the, 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 the defensive you coordinator and the coaches? And like, do you say like, do they like me? No, I asked you, like you, ask you a very specific question. <laughs> Report. <laughs> My bad. Did like, you like, have a like, was I cool with him? Like, oh, yeah, it was yeah, like, do you, not, not, not even cool with him, just, just, just more of, a, of an understanding. Right. Yes. Like, we, so I talk, so about, I talk about the white hats in the, in, in, in the, in the NBA. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. White hats is who? The, the guys, guys. Those, those oh, ones. lottery picks. Those, no, oh, okay. no, 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 no. Those ones. The, the, the ball ones. players. <laughs> the <laughs> ones. The ones. The ones. The ones. The one percent. I see the Dexter Lawrence's. The, the, the ones. You yeah, get yeah, you know what we yeah. So I, I, I talk about a disconnect being between front office and the white hats. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of shit go wrong at in sports, right? Do you have that? Is that is that there for you if you want that? So me personally, okay, and I'm different. I'm in a different situation. I'm a different type of person. I don't think none of them like me. I don't think none of them are my friends. And when I say them, I'm talking about anybody in a business. There's I don't no think loyalty any, in sports, I don't think bro, any no. business person cares about me. There's That's no how I feel. Sports. Right? So once I'm you, a business nigga. I care about Once you, you right? digest so. that part, but like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you create relationships within the business, right. but if you think the relationship outweighs the business, you're lost. Yeah. So once yeah. you digest that part, that was my first digestion. You know, you come from college, all these guys are telling you how much they care about you and this and that. And it's a facade, right? Because they have to tell you that because you have to stay there and do yeah. what they want you for to free. do. For free. <laughs> um, but when you talk about going into the NFL, like, these guys, like I said, are trying to replace me. Granted, they drafted me high, so if you draft a guy high, you want that guy to be your franchise player, which I love, and I, I wouldn't want to be on any other team with any other franchise in any other league. I love where I'm at. Do I have a sense of reality, though, that I understand that when I do what God has ordained me to do, they gonna have to pay me? Yes. If I don't do what God ordained me to do, are they gonna pay me? No. <laughs> Once you understand that and you understand that when I come in here, I need the people around me to help me execute at the highest level. As a rookie coming in, I can't, if, 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 you know, it's all about egos. It's all about who you are. It's all about all that kind of stuff. So you're a rookie coming in. Don't nobody want to hear what you got to say. Even if, like you say, LeBron James, when he came in the game, and I don't know, obviously, I'm just making this up, but when he came in the game, nobody cared about what he bro, had to say. Yo, this shit that killed me, bro. I still remember this shit to this day. They asked, shout out to Ricky Davis. They asked Ricky Davis, like, yo, how do you think we're going to integrate Miles, LeBron? Miles, Boozer, all of yeah, it. Like, and he was all like, yeah, you know, he'll be a good little addition to the yeah, team. Like, nobody you know, cares. Like, but if, if LeBron, right, if you go and ask him, did he think he was the greatest player in the NBA? He probably would have said, yeah. If you ask me, do I think I can be one of the greatest players in the NFL? I'm going to say yes. But, you know, like I say, when it comes to being a rookie and coming in, you don't have no say. And then you can talk. Eh, there's nothing to say. Yeah. I had to understand. I had to learn that. Right. Because you come in with this false hope like, 
hey, hey, um, I think this might work. You keep raising your hand, trying to say something, and everybody's looking at you like, shut the... <laughs> yeah. Instead of saying, yo, listen, I, yo, this gonna work, man. If y'all don't like it, y'all don't like it. Fuck you know? it. Fuck it, so but look, I'm we gonna try it. So then, you, so then, so then <laughs> I realize I get the respect. And then I make the plays. Absolutely. And now they're like, wait, so what was that drill you said you wanted to implement? Right, what right. was that? They didn't, you know, so I think one problem that we have as people is that we're not, we're not accepting of information unless someone proves it. And I think that that's a fair a way to live, but it's not the only way. And I think that with life continuously evolving, you have to be, you know, aware at least of yeah. the new and upcoming changes to the game. And, and I think coaching is a two way street. I think everything is a two way. Phil Jackson is, is, is he regarded as one of the greatest coaches, you would say? Yeah. Hell yeah. There's, but we got the wrong Phil. We got the uncle <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. And my question to you is, is, is Phil Phil without Michael Jordan, without Kobe Bryant, Kobe, without, Jack, and, and, and you Peter know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and we can say he coached these guys. I was, I, okay, okay. He coached them. We talk it. about Uncle Phil a lot. We talk about Phil. But to, to that point, that's a great question. You know, like, would those guys still have been guys great? Guys and guys, athletes, like basketball players, right? The ones. Again, mm -hmm. I, I'm speaking for the ones. That's, that's been dialogue and conversation about that question, right? Me personally, do I think he's one of the greatest coaches? Yes, because what he was able to do to the culture of the game mm. and change the game and change the dynamics of the game and focus on spacing and angles and right timing and mm. how to really dissect the defense putting guys in position where they can be successful and not making, like it's- Studying the game. The triangle yeah. is a bad motherfucking system. We mm. just caught it at the wrong time. You mm. get what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's a, it's a hell of a system. It's just the league was changing at that, the systems was changing. It's mm. more two score in seven seconds and pick yeah. and roll and, but we still coming out of two guard fronts and slow and boom, you know what I'm saying? But it so, also so, got to so work my, with my question to you is how much of that triangle offense or that game plan do you think Michael Jordan had effect on or Kobe Bryant like implement, like how much of that formula I'll do you, you think came from the player? I'll tell you right away. I'll tell you right away. Once we got the formula, cause it was only a couple guys who played like mm -hmm. star players who played in that triangle, mm -hmm. right? Cole, MJ, myself, Shaq, you mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we, it's so much information about the triangle mm -hmm. and like so many levels of the triangle that, a lot of time, us four, and I, I know for sure us three, I haven't never spoke to Shaq about, I know mm -hmm. me, Kobe, and, and MJ, we learned the triangle offense. Like we really studied, mm -hmm. like broke the shit down mm -hmm. piece by piece and piece by piece to the point where we implement the triangle to New York. I'm already Ready. seven, eight steps ahead in the triangle. Mm -hmm. Whereas you trying to teach the triangle. Yeah, it ain't, yeah. Uh, so now you want me to meet you at a, at a drop weight class and I, I can't, can't lose all that weight. Yeah, I can't do that, yeah. I can't meet you there. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So that was, the, it, that was what happened with the actual triangle. And also we didn't have the personnel to right. implement the triangle. So, so you think about coaching and you think about the great coaches under, and this is my perspective, obviously. It's not the perspective. No, it's a great conversation. But great coaches understand their personnel and that and not and not knocking anybody for any you know decisions but if you have michael jordan and you can implement this game plan with michael jordan if you get to another team and there ain't no michael you got to change the game plan and that's the but situation that, so, so to your point yes i'm not i'm not ray lewis yeah i'm, I'm not these that. guys you, so yeah, you have yeah. to adjust and, yes. and not adjust the whole game plan correct but there has to be some understanding of, hey, Melo, you're not Michael Jordan. So what are you good at or what have I studied from you or what do you feel most comfortable within this offense? That's where the transparency that I'm asking about from coaches and organizations. Because to that point, if you you was coming to me, asking me or teaching me, you know, and, and sharpening my tools in the, on the triangle. Mm -hmm. Why are you thinking that you already know I was advanced in the, in the, in the triangle because mm -hmm. we even sat and we talked about it. Uh, so you never implemented nothing for me. Mm. I just mastered the triangle. You know, mm. I, I went through it, it and, and I, I learned the steps of the triangle when shit got bad, where to go at on the court in the, within the triangle. So because I knew that information and I 
wanted to learn and study that. Everybody else wasn't there on right. a court. The triangle works with five people. If, one, if one guy is doing Come it on. and four guys is doing it, that it's over. So when I'm doing it, uh, hey. it looks like, oh, he's breaking hey. the offense. So he's, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, look, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. Hey, I'm going to give a short story. And, and this is just because you, you touched on that. So the end of the season is here, right? End of the season is here. I ain't going to say no names. The end of the season is here. And, uh, you know, now everything is kind of out of head. Like we've, we're losing, we're out the playoffs, you know, like, you know. Yeah. So you, you know we're, how it goes. We're we, we yeah. on the team. We're on some we shit, not, You know, when you get to the end of the year, it might be a little bit of finger point. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. ain't finger point, but you elbow point. No, it's a lot. It's a <laughs> you lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a so lot. It's a lot. We, get to the, we get to the end of the, you know, last couple of weeks or whatever. And I just remember practice and, and guys are lined up and we lined up to go. And, you know, we call a blitz. <clears throat> And uh, uh, there are multiple, multiple guys, multiple, that are like, I'm running a blitz. And, and the other guy's like, who said that? He said, I said it. And when I heard it, they were like, shit. He said, he said, he said shit, I, I, shit, I guess somebody just ain't gonna be covered. I was like, See what I'm saying? Oh, I was like, oh, if they do that, sub me out. Yeah, you feel me? That's and losing and, mentality. And, and for me, right, for me, I'm the guy, and why coaches respect me, it's because I'm gonna tell the coach, oh, if they on that BS, take me out. I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we're not finna play these games. So yeah. you ain't snitching. You just exiting yeah, I, yourself I, listen, from a situation. My boy, my, yeah, listen, me, I'm, I'm addressing what needs to be addressed. I love if it's that. a coach, if if one thing about the NFL that I respect is that they keep it tight. Yeah. So they're, you know, if they a player, mess with that. It, it, they don't mess with that. Yeah. So if you come out in the media, for example, and you say something that it goes against the ideologies of your team, right? They're going to Crack the whip. Mm. When, when, when that whip is cracked, the players have two choices. You either, get everybody be quiet. Down. Get down or lay down. You, you get down or lay down. But then you, you got you to gotta be real and say, well, let's clear the air. I understand that he wasn't supposed to do that on camera. But what he's saying has some validity right. to it. So are we going to acknowledge the problems within the organization? And, and, that's, kinda, and that's why I face a little scrutiny you know i'm, I'm a guy who's you who, got perspective i teeter the line because i'm gonna raise my hand and say well he was wrong but is it hashed out did we figure out did we right. get to the root of the problem because the root of the problem ain't him talking the they root of the problem to the nba champ they wouldn't fuck with me what? Trust me, they don't fuck with me right now. But, <laughs> what? but i want you to know that i'm gonna do my job to the best of my ability i respect my Yo, coaches bro. i'm gonna go sack that quarterback and we're gonna win bro, super bowls they, what that's it that's that all right i care about Winning super like, Bowl. no he's challenging He's not a good. He's uncoachable. He's, he's challenging status. <laughs> what? Look, look, Ron, 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 he's Rajon, a diva. Rajon Rondo was maybe one of the best at that, of like calling bullshit and like learning, knowing how to work with superstars and like, but also being a player, but also challenging the yeah. the coach. Not in the not disrespectful, not a disrespectful kind of but it's more not, so of like let's get better. Like no, no, I want you to I want you to look at this differently. Like, okay, you want us to do that? Why you want us to do that? Why? Why, why does why, why get you mad? Why does me asking why get yeah, you mad? It's always the why. Why, why does that get you mad? If you I just, just want to know. Also, if you just say why, they if get I'm mad. Go if, go my, if I'm gonna go run my head, why. if I'm gonna run my head into this person, I want to know why. Yeah, <laughs> it's the why. It's always why. Don't you? It's like if. I should be, and we go back to, again, we, and we gonna go to fuck with the fuck out of here, but <laughs> I'll make this last this point. Good. I'll, 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 make, I'll make this last point. That's a lot of power, Come on. right? And, and what you talk about and what you've been through and dealt with and answer my question about being 23 and, and mm -hmm. being in that intelligent like that. Rondo used to sit in like questioning. I knew what he was doing. But if you in the lock, if you in the in the locker room or you in the the film room, and mm -hmm. it's like you are, we may lose a couple of games, and you come in with that energy. Yeah, only oh. certain people is gonna understand what you coming yep. in on that type of time. Mm. Everybody else is angry at the games, the loss. They dealing with their own shit. They might not play that. I had enough time. Whatever it was, they mad at the coach. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was. So now you come into the film room where gloves is off mm. and you got this smart that he's one of the smartest basketball players ever mm. ever and he's sitting there and he's like oh yeah yeah coach i like that coach like nah nah we did that like we we but nah coach like don't keep showing us bad shit shows what we did good too right 
yo, coach, yo, you know what? Tomorrow I think you should show some good clips as opposed to see what happens with the energy. Like, as a player, mm. if you, as a team, if you mm. have one of those players, you support that player. Oh, but yeah. on the flip side of that, everybody else, because it's perspective, is how you take it, you can look at that like that's disruptive. Mm. If you're an insecure coach, you're looking at that like, yo, that's disruptive. Why he keep, you challenging me. He think he knows more than me. Nah, I'm here for the, it's it's a, the team. It's, we it's, trying to win. And you're out there scoring these. It's a different perspective. Bro, Coaching that's real and playing, shit, man. That's, these that's bullets real flying. Shit. The, the one thing my OGs told me, they said, look, and at the same time I had these problems, they said, look, when you in practice, you do what you told. You learn the technique, you execute it, you do it. When you in that game, you could die out there, bro. And, and, and people out there think this is an exaggeration. We've seen football. You have to do what you feel comfortable doing to execute. Now, don't get me wrong. You got to execute. We yeah. ain't telling you to do your own technique and not execute. Yeah. You have to execute, but you got to, and you're in the moment. Thanks. You got to understand what, you know, is going to work for you. Sports yeah, is different. Sports is different. So you fans. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give, Twitter, us, Twitter, 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 Twitter. give us a little bit more, you know what I mean? Like, so this, I had a couple of questions. Leeway, because, because we, do, we I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, but I'm dead serious. Yeah, 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 just to the fans. I, I'm, as I'm an athlete, yeah. like to, to the fans, right? Mm. We love y'all. Like, we, res, we respect the That's shit out of y'all. Like, it, it, it's not the cliche of, yo, y'all buy tickets. No, we really fuck with y'all, like the fans. So if you fuck with us, you're going to get that same energy oh. back. If you don't fuck with us, Keep it, keep it over there. You ain't got to tell or me. Or you yo, will get I, that same I energy back. Yeah. I don't fuck with we you. Are humans. So I'm gonna say I don't fuck but with you. Is humans. <laughs> that's human nature, right? Human. So <laughs> as, so as fans, yeah. to all the fans that's out there, we do what we do. We put in the work. We practice. We do what we got to do. We pay attention to details. We focus. Now some people might veer off, and, yeah. but for the most part, as an athlete, professional athlete, this is what you got to do. Yeah. So just because we're not meeting your expectations you know, every single I, moment. I had you, you, you know, six and a half sacks this year, bro. I had, to, I had to tell my mom one time, right? We, we lost a game. And they're like, damn, y'all lost. Ah, oh, man. We, we still going to uh, go to dinner tonight? They still like, they, they trying to have a good time. You know, I said, I said, Ma, it's, it's so sad because y'all don't even understand that somebody is losing a job tonight. Somebody's kids are not going to have the same life anymore after tonight. That's the crazy thing about and football. And it's like, dog. when you talk about everybody, and it's like, you you know, people ask like, man, when the kicker, you know, you watch the Bills game, the kicker missed the, the, missed the kick. And, and people were asking me like, yo, as a football player, are the guys kicking them? What are they doing? And it's like, man, dude, that might be that man's last kick. And, and there's the no, there's no, not to cut you off, but yeah. there's no worse feeling than oh. self-sabotage. That man... I'm sure he had 24 hours, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, people that. watching yeah, him, like, I'm, yeah. I'm saying it in a jocular way, but it's real. He, I'm in Buffalo? Like, this is history this is with all us. they care about, man. This is why right. This is why right. 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 This like, is history, oh, man. bro. Like, and, my and, and as a fan, bad, we, don't wanna, like, we don't want to see that as a fan because yeah. we know what they've been through when it comes to that. But also, you got to watch, you got to pay attention to that man. Yeah. And not to cut you off, not to cut you off, but like, the reverse of that is as a fan, you feel that shit, bro. Like yeah. when when they pan out and they show you on the sideline and you like, do you? They do. The I, real, I, the real ones. Take that. I'm I'm asking, I don't do. know. I'm asking. The real asking. ones do, bro. They like I, like, I yeah. swear to God, those bro, like, who know. Yeah, right. the ones that know, because like if you've been in any type of situation, it don't gotta be sport per se, mm -hmm. but any type of high pressure situation where you gotta perform. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm they saying? Feel like like, like acting TV shit like that. Was just like, bro, you gotta hit this mark. You gotta hit this line. You gotta deliver like this. Or else it's gonna be whack. Or else, like you said, that might be the last movie you do. When, when it's real, when it's real, they understand. Yeah, and, and, and you can't, you know, you can't fake. Real. You can't, you can't fake it. The yeah, fans and, and the excitement and the energy around it, you can't fake it. All yeah. I would say is, family members, when they lose a game, still hit them up. Don't only hit them up when he scored forty yeah. and when he do the best. Because you think about as a as a person going through this. It's like, come on, man. My family only like me when I'm scoring points. Nah, pick the me people up. only care about me when I'm doing good. This this sport, I love it. And I'm giving my life to it. But this is not my I, like. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. a person. I'm a human. I'm just. Yeah, I still want to be loved. I still want to be cared about, bro. That's you know what? Shit, what, what I, I got told, bro. Shout to shout to Aaron Foster, my dog Fino. He told me this shit one time. We went to a party and we left. And I'm like, dog, you a whole NFL running back, bro? Like pro bowler. Everything and everybody's just like, yo, Merrill, what's up? Merrill, what's up? Merrill, what's up? And they kind of was like, come on, who's this guy? 
And he was just like, man, motherfuckers. And then, at this point, he's like, tail end of his okay, career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, man, motherfuckers only love you when you up in sports. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you do like media and stuff, cool. you put out like a movie, mm. people stick to that movie. They love that Forever. movie. They go back, they the revisit that movie. The, yep. That character, yo, when you play Tony in the bodega. Sports, and the you've never went, I, I said this yesterday, you've never went back and rewatched the sports game. That's what, the, so I t I'll tell you this much. The real fans, they, they do. do. Yeah, the highlights. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro, I done watched this man hit the threes. Greens, and yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 they can't the watch it. Yeah, I, yeah. It's crazy. I, I, yeah. I, 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 I don't watch that spin around jump a couple times. I'm sitting here listening to y'all talk, man. It's, it's crazy as a, as, a, as a fellow athlete. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy to hear y'all, you know, those perspectives coming from yeah, man. the other it's, side it's, of it. Because we, this is what we deal with. This is the life of an athlete. This is the uncover of right. what we deal with on a day to day basis. We got to deal with family. We got to deal with issues. Every day. Right? We deal with everyday issues that everybody else deal Plus, with. It's just, and then my job is on the line It's relative every day. to our situation, right? right? So I got to deal with that. I got to deal with performing at a high level every day. I got to deal with being called a bum or the greatest mm -hmm. or flip flop. I got to deal with all of that. I got to deal with yep. 12 different personalities on my team in the locker room, players only. I got to deal with the coaching. I got to deal with business. I got to write checks. I got to, mm. it's like, <laughs> and then I got to deal with the fans. <laughs> you and then, and then, and then at, the, at, the end of, at the end of all that dealing, you just got to hope that your intuition was right and that you did the right thing for the right people and that the right people actually care about you, yep. that you have aligned yourself so that all of it doesn't slip right from under you. I, really, I always ask for one thing, understanding. Mm. Uh, I, and, and that's only, I, I only ask that understanding, mm. right? Have a perspective. Because I know you may not have the same perspective I have, because we are in two different situations, but there's still perspective. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, I'm still, I, I, mm. I still have a, a heart. I'm still human. I still have perspective. That's I still have logic. I still, so. I was, that was deeper. Hey, you know what I mean? Family, that, was, like, that, was, that was deep, bro. You know that was a lot like, deeper. Like have, that, was a lot, that was a lot deeper than a. Uh, have, have, have perspective, because have when perspective. you have perspective, you're, you're able to see it all over the board, right? As opposed to just seeing it as, oh, that's my, that's, oh, man, he, he scored four. I'm going to hit my, we good because everybody else talking about it. Mm -hmm. But oh, if yeah, I don't two, get yeah, that sack sacks. and everybody's saying, yo, KT is, he having a bad week or he having a bad start of the year, then it's like, are you making that call too? So my family only called me when I did negative shit. Uh, the fuck is your dumb ass doing? <laughs> You know, like, I, but I, I, I understand, like, to that point, family, friends, fans have perspective. Because I think what's happening today in our society, mm -hmm. it's they drawn, they drawn a line and they taking away the perspective of mm -hmm. everything and they making you choose a side. They making you choose one or the other. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So Hell, like we don't have to keep comparing who's the greatest. Nah, we nah, can nah. just appreciate that All he was great greatness. in the 80s. He was great in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. He was great in the 2000s. This is what I'm saying. So with these that, three with, guys with that being said, fuck out of here for all of that. But you got it. <laughs> Yo, Mello, man, the beauty about 7 p.m. in Brooklyn is that of course, you know what I'm saying, we had to celebrate hoops and culture and uh, things of that nature. But most importantly, we had to have a good time, man. And what better way to celebrate these moments, you know what I mean, than having some fire tequila to go with it? No. You already know. 1800 Tequila, the world's most awarded tequila, is your go-to when it comes to celebrating the finer moments in life with the smooth taste in tequila. Mm. My favorite, I'm sure y'all know this by now, is 1800 Cristalino and Ultra Premium Crystal Clear Anejo Tequila Finish in Port Wine Cast. It's so smooth, part on the left, you can enjoy your neat, on the rock, so in your favorite cocktail, part on the left, to elevate its taste. That's right. AT Honey knows one thing. It's that taste is everything. So it's only right that they locked in with us, baby. Come on. Salute. Salute, baby. Ah. We're the taste makers. Mm. Yeah, we got Kevin on the house. We're fucking with it. Don't fuck out of here. Our favorite segment, y'all favorite segment, you know what I mean? Uh, we talk about culture, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The zeitgeist shit that's going on in the world, you know what I mean? Uh, first up, we got Fat Joe. You know what I mean? He had an interesting comment about <laughs> Nelly and Ashanti getting back together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look, my laugh wasn't at the comment. It was just that we started off with Fat Joe. I love Fat Joe. That's just, <laughs> the joke. One yeah, thing, yeah, one yeah, thing yeah. about this show, joke, people bro. know. Fat Joe people, is people the punchline. People know. You ain't, you ain't laughing <laughs> at it. You laughing with Yeah, yeah. Joe know what time it is. Yeah, that's love. So he had a comment where he said, 
that the Nelly Ashanti flame rekindling happened at his verses because he brought them out together. You know what I'm saying? And they did the joint together, whatever. He's like, yo, this is what happened. So I'm like, <laughs> so, you know, we oh, brought back uh, Ashanti and Nelly. They look so happily ever after. So the other day, Ashanti <laughs> FaceTime you know, with Nelly. Joke. They were like, hey, bro, this, this, that. Hey, you, bro. Remember they had the rumor she was pregnant. So I immediately told him I need 10% <laughs> of this kid. I feel him. Oh, I feel him. If I it wasn't for the kid. verses. Wait, the kid? That's what he said? It's an NIL. Then I brought Nelly out oh, yeah. against Ja Rule. That's when they saw each other and that energy connected again. That's when he said, That's the I got to have her. Now he, he was over there her. contemplating. He really want to go over there. But he was contemplating, and my brother Mayor was like, yo, bro, what the fuck you waiting for? So he goes over there, and that starts the conversation. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. Yo. So, okay, what's up with you since you're an uh, uh, illustrious guest, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking with it the fuck out of here. Fat Joe taking credit for playing Love Doctor. I'm going to be honest, man. I, I don't know if it's worth the 10%. <laughs> But it is worth like the best man, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can see how, I can, cause I'm a guy like that. Like man, if you met her at my function, you know I can. You know what I'm saying? Oh, at least with the groomsmen, you know what I'm saying? I got to be in the way. I, I orchestrated something. Y'all wouldn't, wouldn't have been this energy. Uh, and me, I, I'm the I'm the creator of energy. So I feel Fat Joe. Like y'all wouldn't have been happy and excited if I wasn't in the mix doing it. With, you cool, know what with saying? the shades on. And I, but then it's like energy. is Fat Joe willing to split that five percent or that ten percent with Ja Rule? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? It might have been. Yo, I know. The way. You know, Josh come through like your father. That's Josh. Ja, Joe, Joe. Ja need two and a half, three percent. You know what I'm saying? He ja needed good right now. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Right? <laughs> so yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, 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 I'm fucking with it. I feel like he was doing it out of good heart, clown. Okay, so yeah, I'm fucking. You with fucking it. with it? I'm fucking with it. Yo, Joe is Joe. Joe. <laughs> Joe is one of the <laughs> illest niggas ever, bro. Because everything he says sounds like a crazy story. Yeah, that, that is like, true. Hey, it's cinematic. It's, Come cin on. it's a fucking movie. Like this man has told me so many stories that I'm just like, wait, just I want to hear another one, bro. What? Just tell me another one. Be, like, just go read a rainbow bro. in this he's, motherfucker, he's man. Just, the other straight up, like, <laughs> cinema. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. And that shit kills me every time. So I'm definitely fucking with it. Joper's out here, you know what I'm saying, making it happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I'll fuck with it. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck with it. Joe, because he, he, he preaching positivity. Yeah, it's yeah, positive. Right. That's what I'm saying. He Love bringing back, rekindling people, yeah. you know, you know, who, saying, who, baby, you know who really supposed married. to be together. And, and, like, and you get what I'm saying? Hey, they really supposed to be together. Let's not uncover. The truth is, is that love conquers all. I just think we had a, a fickle time now. Like yeah. I, I, that's what everybody, men, women, is like dating is fucked up. Yeah. Marriages is fucked up. Energy is fucked up. You get what I'm saying? So I think we're going to see a trend of going. Yeah. And, and, and Shanti mm. and Nelly. And, you, know, you, know, just, you know what it is? It's and it's going to be cold. We got to bring the spirituality back into our culture. Black That's girl, really girl. what it is. We got to bring, because back in the day, all of our grandparents, they their relationships were built on spirituality. I'm not going to say religion because everybody's whatever religion they want to be. Absolutely. But, you know, having grounds and having a foundation is the key. Not, we we giving all our, our spirits to everybody. And we just lost right now. Understanding. You know? we, understanding. Gotta have understanding. Yeah, so it's yes, back. I'm back. Shares of understanding. Another bar. Another bar. We got bars a day, man. We got bars a day. So another fuck away the fuck out of here. Miro, I don't know if you've seen this, but Gilly the Kid oh. challenged Jamal Crawford, man. 101. Full. Back, but, 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 but back, yeah, yeah, back in November. But Gilly really think he's fucking nice. You know what I'm saying? Bro. So now he's he, I bet you Jamal Crawford will not accept this challenge one on one. One on one. Are you better than Jamal makes, Crawford, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's 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 he cook everybody. Okay. But guess who else going in the fucking oven? Jamal <laughs> fucking Crawford. He got a fucking what? Right with I'm, like, that I'm, like, I'm like Bubba. I'm like Bubba Chuck. I know I'm a motherfucking liability on motherfucking defense, but guess what? I'm such a liability on offense <laughs> that it don't even fucking matter. <laughs> yo, yo, listen, man. Yo, well, Gil, done. You gotta chill, Gil. Oh, oh, fuck Gil, out you gotta here. fuck out of here. Yo. Yo. Hey, Gil. Yo, listen, man. Listen. I see this man bring the ball up and nah, do this. Nah, Gil. It's, no, listen, Gil. <laughs> fuck out of here for the sake of the fucking winner to fuck out of here, but Gil. I done seen this man. That's Jay Crossover, bro. Do professionals. 
Dog. Dirty. Come on. Dog, see, I'm telling you, listen. Come on, Gil. Like, <laughs> I got his highlights on tape. Yo, Gil, no, see, lucky lefty. You, I, 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 you know what I mean? Calvin Chaney and all that. Like, yeah. I get that. But, uh. Jamal different, bro. Yeah, I ain't fucking with it. I'm fuck out of here. So this, um, this, 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 this is my thing. I fuck with the confidence. If, if you yeah, asked me right. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, if Can't I was Gilly if, if I was gonna be able to challenge uh, Melo in a one on one, I probably would have said no. So you still saying no? 10 years later, that I'm sitting here saying no. Do I need to? Do I feel like in my heart I need to challenge him to a one on one to let him to. know that I ain't no punk? But you know what? A little bit because you are you got a different mentality, bro. Competitor. So from a competitor's perspective, you are in kill mode listen, every if, time. If I feel, bro. Gilly, if you bring Jamal Crawford to 24 hour fitness where the roofs is low and the, <laughs> and the rims is nine foot tall, it would be. <laughs> it might have a chance. It would be. It would be because Gilly got the. I ain't. He got know. the lefty, lucky lefty. Okay. So he might have a little step back. But he, but he I, shoot Jamal, unorthodox. Not Jamal, like, not you Jamal. Don't, you it's don't know when Gilly gonna shoot the ball. He's not yeah. orthodox. Right, right. But come on, chat. Like, like, that's like, what I'm okay. talking about. You fans, man. Jamal, the greatest, six, the one see, the greatest six man off the bench. And that's the type of fan get carried away and say shit like that. I'm like, yo. But he played. He plays though, so he should have a better understanding. So did I. He should have an overstanding. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, I hit them gym, them open gym open runs and shit. But it's like, bro, take it easy. That's a different game. In my heart, there's not a lot of people that I could play with in basketball in NBA right now. Like, but in my heart, I feel like I could get with Draymond. Like that's why so, you keep calling Draymond. No, that's my guy because that's my guy. I, I ain't gonna say that's my guy. Draymond, I, I'm he, not, no, Draymond, I, I just worked he, out he, with he him. He might beat you eleven no, notes. He might. I just, I just, he I just, might. Tell me, tell me, tell me. But is he gonna get fouled? Awesome. Is he gonna get fouled three times? Have a black eye on the way up. Of course, it might take a longer. Yeah. Look, the game might be longer. Yeah. He's gonna get eleven games. Eleven will be more shape than him. He's gonna get tired. What is he to do though? Because you a score. The game is gonna be. It's gonna be longer. It's you gonna be with them two. With them it's two. gonna be a boxing match. It ain't even gonna be basketball. No, Cause you're a bucket be getter, bro. No, him? Me too. You? Me. I'm, I, he's out Draymond of here. And he's not. He's out of here in ten minutes. He's out. Eleven zero. It's because I got. It's because I got another show to do. That's why I'm out of here in ten minutes. That's what I'm saying. See, I'm not, it's not because you know what I'm saying. It's not because the, the bucket is just. It's not because the bucket. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? When I seen him, look. I'm be honest. When I first met Draymond, what you true story? He sized you up. True story. When I first met Draymond, we're both in the gym working out out in L.A., Santa Monica. We're working out, and I I see this dude that looked like Draymond, but he's not that tall. You Aki, son? Like, are you real? I'm, Aki, I'm like, big. Yeah, so I mean, you're part on the left, but yeah. So I'm looking at him like, yeah. So I'm looking at him <laughs> like, uh, I'm like, yo, that's Draymond, but he he don't look. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he don't look, look like a like player. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm not saying I'm sizing everybody up, but I'm just like. And then I heard him talking about like, oh, 2016. His heart is bigger. And I hear him, and I'm like, oh snap. That's Draymond. So now me, I'm just a competitor you like me in the gym. I got to size you down. Nah. I, got, I got to because I didn't make it. So, you know, there's a little there's a little vengeance in the back of my head that's like, you know what? <laughs> if I dedicated my time, I probably could have been You got size. You, you, I probably could have had it. Though. You got, you know what I mean? Like I just you, didn't, listen, I just didn't have no technique. My mom taught me how to play basketball. I love you, mom, but she didn't have skills like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my daddy, by 13, I was beating him. Yeah. So. Football was the way to go, you know. Yeah. He probably ain't one. He know you gonna tackle his ass. That's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, right you know my dad. My dad was a statistics guy. He says, you know what? You can beat me all you want, but I bet you there's more people building houses than there are playing basketball. Well, that's facts, like, though. That's, oh shit, that's, that's the real ah. perspective. I was like, ah, that humble, that humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got you, got you, got you. He let you know he could build a house and you can't. And I'm like, if the world comes to an end, I'm gonna know what to do. I'm good. All right, pops, I feel that. Yeah, he got a trade. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, when in doubt, get a trade. When in doubt, get a trade. So I'm fucked. Fuck out of here with Gilly. Fuck out of Gilly, here, Gilly. Gilly, Gilly I feel here. you, because Melo, if, if I keep sitting here with this 1800, we might be... We uh, got the crate set up in the <laughs> back. It's ready to go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, one-on-one crates in the back. don't think I'm not going to lower it. We're not playing on 10 feet. That ain't regulation. We're playing on nine. No, nah, you, know, you know, crate height is like eight and a half. Thank you. you know Straight up. Crate you know what I'm saying? Yeah, where yeah, we can both eight and a half. So we, <laughs> we can both dug you. Know, my knees ain't Football years, I'm about 38. So we probably the same age when it comes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, True, true, true. All I need to do is just make sure that he don't, Hit the threes. That's it. If I guard the threes. I got a chance. If he started hitting threes, then I ain't got a younger generation thinking threes. I'm getting to the spot. Oh, one no. on one. Listen, so, so one you got on kids. one is totally different. You got I'm kids. Getting to the, I'm getting to, to the your jump shot spot. To you the saying. money. Not to the bucket. The I'm getting to my spot. spot. I know you over, can operate you know, out of it. Where you shoot. Yeah, he's like, over where aggressive. Where you shoot. You know, okay. Chest bumping. Uh, uh. You come down the lane. See, that's the thing. Remember, I told you it's the game within the game. He's retired. 
He ain't who we used to be. So I'm getting to so my I'm spots. not going to play him like I used to play him. Yeah. But he think I'm that athletic. So you know what I'm saying? He don't know. I watch you every Sunday. Hey. <laughs> Sad hey. quarterback. So, 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 so that's what I'm saying. He think I'm going to do that. He think I'm going to do that and let him go past me. No, I'm no, going to sit I back. Know, I'm, no, I'm going to keep my hand up. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to tell a, you, I'm going to tie to your shoelaces together and let you know. <laughs> I have a high level respect for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not Bro, doing I have it. a high level of respect for y'all. <laughs> y'all agility, y'all, y'all, you know. It's just, a, it's just getting the ball in the basket. We got yeah, a problem. Y'all not bucket getters. Yeah. Is you understand? Y'all, 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 y'all be great and intangible guys. See, my whole thing, I was never a scorer, I was a sister. I'm saying, you know, you know, Magic. Yeah. He's a distributor. Yeah. He was LA. That's I was, why. I was, I was Kyrie Irving. I was like, you know, I'm a big Kyrie man. Kyrie has score. He is, but he. Uh, you're right. That's super wrong. Not Kyrie. I, who else? Was Chris, Chris Paul. Paul. Chris you know Paul. Like I was Chris. Paul. I was big though. Guard. You know who I really was? I was really like a. I was really like a. Um, like a Ibaka. I like how Ibaka play. He was a. He was like a big man. That but says he could, a lot about you. He can hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a metal world piece. Like Yo, I play hard, but I ain't gonna sit here and tell you Yo, I can get you thirty. I, I, I'm gonna give you eight. Though. That's real. I'm gonna give you eight. Right. Six rebounds. Most football three fouls. fouls. Three fouls. Right. Most, Most football, football fouls, fouls would have been like, Yo, I'm Brown. I'm Kobe. I'm Katie. Yo, you said at the, Ibaka at the, at the highest. At the highest. Ah, that's real. I'm like. I'm like. Old Paul Pierce, like old Paul Pierce, not young, but like old, like put, put me like on the wing. You like, like put me on the elbow. Wizards, Paul Pierce? Yeah, like put me on the elbow, and I give you, I give you six from the you, elbow. You hit, hit my two free throws. Are you Clipper Paul Pierce or Washington Wizards Paul Pierce? I'm like, I'm like game winner. They, they nah, that's what I'm I like, said, sir, that's, what so I'm that's like, more like Washington Wizards. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm more like uh, elbow uh, metal world piece. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm, more like, I'm more like you give me the ball in the corner, I'm gonna hit it. But if something go wrong, I'm gonna just elbow somebody in. So you, they best player gonna be out. I'm gonna be out and we gonna you, win the game. You just have that switch. That's why. That's, that's why, why you want to play that's why so I'm bad. Play with that. That's Cause why I know Drake active. active. That's why I like that's Drake. That's why I like fucking play basketball with football. And players, like I tell bro. you, that's who, who, is I, who do I really think I'm like at the greatest? Draymond Green. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like, that's what I can do. I get him elbow a few dudes and say, kick a few guys, fuck out of here with Gilly, and fuck out of here with KT. Hey, hey, listen, I'm going to do exactly what Draymond do. I'm going to put a couple dudes in the headlock. I'm going to elbow somebody. I might yeah. jump. I, listen, but that's why they love you. I'm going to get a UFC contract right after my team. Right after. <laughs> they're going to the locker room like, yo. Then I'm going to be so on death row after that rapping. Right? You'll, take you him, you'll take he him on, on the D-line with you? On the uh, defensive Draymond? line? Yeah. Nah. Because I know this. Where would you put him at? The reason, the reason I wouldn't take Draymond, because Draymond ain't never put LeBron in the headlock. Uh, so where would you, you put him at? I put him at tight end. I put it uh, at tight. Tight ends is more blocker score, bro. Tight ends is blocker, more like it's more blocker. When, when I see a DB, I'm a, I'm a kill him. A but when blocker. I see a D lineman, I'm a I'm a shake yeah, him out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you got to get more of a physical blocker. Like damn, Joel and B coming. I'm I'm gonna just elbow him. But uh, here come oh here come you. Oh yeah, I'm finna. Go Wimby. Yeah, 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 like, Wimby. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you something. Copy. So Draymond is more tight end. He nah, he's blocking and release. Block and release. Yeah. Copy. So you know he gonna get the offense going. Talk some mess. Yeah, yeah. He gonna catch a two yard and out pass and yeah, and it's gonna be. It's gonna be a big hit. It's gonna be a big hit. He's gonna celebrate. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Draymond, I know you're yeah, yeah, get, you up. Up. get your juice up. Get your juice up. Draymond, KT, Pop, I know you're tanning yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Nah, man, man. Man. Love listen. Draymond. Shout out to you, shout man. You, really shout you did everything at the Welcome highest back. level. I want to be just like you, seriously. No, yeah. no, no jokes Welcome aside. back, Day Day. Welcome back. So, hey, listen, uh, earlier today, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about uh, the idea of being a bad texter. You know what I mean? And how reaction replying. Is not enough. I can't believe you. We put this on. <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is an audible. This is, is a shot. Audible. This is a shot to me. This is. <laughs> Yo, so fucking with it or fuck out of here. Is being a bad texter a deal breaker in a relationship? If if it's long distance, yeah. If it's long distance, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it can't. It, okay. It's no working if you're not gonna do the computer love, but. Like me personally, I'm not a good texter. So I'm a, I'm a just FaceTime you. I'm a just, cause it's just, you don't, there's so many, when you're an emotional person and just like, or a, um, you know, outgoing person, the text don't get the job done. Yeah. So it's like, I can say something and you don't even understand what I'm saying cause it's through text. So it's like, keep going. This I can't a, build my love off. Good point. I can't build yeah. my love for somebody. Uh, like nowadays we DM girls. Oh. I'm just saying like younger generation. <laughs> 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 
Look, I just started making money. These, old, these, these <laughs> old dudes trying to say who? It's some, it's some 24, 25, 26 year old Instagram models with eight. Y'all, we, we, y'all in their DMs. I ain't telling y'all specifically, not y'all. But uh, <laughs> trust Yo, me. This is PG 13. <laughs> yeah, okay. 1800 over here, man. <laughs> My bad. But <laughs> when you talk yeah. about, you know, relationships, you got to build, you know, it's all about building with the person. Right. You can't build nothing. Computer love is fake. It's fake. So it's, it comes, it's all everything head. comes back to So is texting a deal breaker in a relationship? No. Not so fuck out of here. So is that an excuse? Fuck out of here. Uh, if, texting like, def- if, if, if he keeps saying I'm busy, he busy. It is not with business. <laughs> like that, he busy. No, I disagree with that. <laughs> no. Are you, I disagree no. with that. I disagree with that. I don't Yo, disagree. What if he's really busy? I'm I don't busy. disagree. I'm busy. I'm in here all day long. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah. Because he's recording. So after we record for two no, hours, no, no, I'm we locked it. You're going to go home. I'm going to have a drink. I'm going to so you know, I'm going I'm I'm to let you know two things I do. After this meeting, I'm going to check my uh, banking app to see how much money I got. Go just because DM. I want to. And, go and then guess DM. what? I'm going to text the girl that I like. If I don't like you, I'm not going to text you. That's the truth. So when you talk about busy or not busy, dudes are going to make time. Because I bet you your kids, you ain't going to never tell your kids I'm busy. Yeah, I'm never, and, and now, I don't think you're supposed to tell nobody like a, a woman you busy. Like, that, I, but that's I, just, like I, I just think but again, even, it, it feels like that. Like, you just but but I feel like saying you know, I'm, even you know. saying I'm busy is is better than not saying anything. Yeah, but then they gonna say, "Damn, you always busy." I mean, what man? What, <laughs> what, what, what man? You stay time, busy. What man getting to the money and I'm not busy? Oh, you so, want me to be free? Oh, you want me to have all the time oh, in the world? Oh, you want me to be broke? Right, so man, this is what I'm you saying. Me, oh. So that causes for what? An understanding. Oh, yeah. Under, trust me. Listen. All I need is understanding. When you say, say understanding, less, say when less. you say understanding say to less. me, I think that is the human trait that we all want in life is mm. to understand different perspectives. That some is, people may say understanding is overrated. It's overrated when it's manipulation. Talk to him. Ooh, when you damn, are, it's another bar. When you are creating, yeah, when you're creating understanding to manipulate like, oh, I want you to understand what I'm saying. Like, nah, look. So I can spin you this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, spin game, serious. Kyrie Irving off the top of the backboard. <laughs> Put English on the shit. Spin game is incredible. <laughs> and, then that's, and then that's accountability. We men, we grown now. Y'all, like, how long we gonna play these games? How long we yeah. expect somebody to put up with, you know what I'm saying? Like, our, our shit stink. And once you realize humans. that your shit stink, humans. Yeah. Once, and, and for me, personally, it's men. And I'm a man. And I'm going to say that because once you find somebody you love and you find somebody you care about, all of the manly walls that you say, like, all of, all of those characteristics oh, and ideologies you had yeah, before, yeah. they're like, bro, you know when people say, like, you have a daughter to change your life, bro, find a girl that you love that's going to change your life, bro. That's a fact. My mom yeah, told me, if, if you, love is not real unless you find yourself wanting to be better for the other person. Not because of them. Right, I'm not gonna be better because when you watch me, I want to be better while you're looking at me. Right. I want to be better because wow, this person has sparked this. You know, they have ignited that this motivation. flame in me. They have not yeah. ignited this motivation that it's like, you know what? I want to be better for myself, but I can see how your light has shined on me. They inspire me. You're inspiring me. Yeah. <laughs> if I can be inspired, come on, by you. Cheers to that. Like I want to be inspired. Like I want to wake up and like, yo, listen, I'm, I'm going to work. Salinos, yo, you know what I mean? I'm going to work. Boom, boom, boom. This is what I'm doing. Like I'm like, oh shit, yo, here, boom. Matter of fact, take this. You might lead that over. Like it's it's inspiration mm-hmm. that you need. And, yeah. and, and as an athlete, mm-hmm. we need that. Mm-hmm. But it's also because we lack like a lot of we, shit though as an athlete. So, but that's tough because you got to stay as an athlete. We, we, get deep. we, we lack a lot of shit though this, that's as an saying. athlete. We lack a lot of like, shit. There's no I don't I can't think of anything else that falls in the realm of like entertainment because even like doing TV movies and stuff you get breaks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like yo I did this movie I'm gonna take a break for five months. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm good. I'm gonna live off this. Y'all are locked in oh, that's for months and months and months they, on end. I, but again, if there's an understanding, if there's an understanding to can we, go, to, can we go down this rabbit hole? I ain't going down this rabbit hole. I'm, okay. I'm going to stop. Okay, we're going to stop right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, listen, listen. Uh, we're going to no, 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 do a part two. So for no, no, no. Two, we're t- doing this. We're going to do <laughs> the 7 p.m. post game. Set it up. You what you what I'm do? saying? We're going to do that. But what I'm saying is the understanding aspect of anything mm. is the key, right? Because if you don't understand, that means you're not knowledgeable mm. of the information that you need to understand. Right. You feel what I'm saying? How can you tell me you, you know understand, but you don't know the wisdom? You, you don't know the knowledge. You, you know the piece about understanding? That's the coldest part. The greatest teachers can teach anybody. 
So if you talk about wanting, right, and you talk about a relationship, because relationship is growth, it's longevity, right? That's one thing we we ain't touched on, it's the longevity of it. So if you say, I love this person, I want to see it through, you're going to teach that, and not teach, because you're not going to, you can't teach love. You can't teach. You got to model it. But you can, you can practice, right? And all these, and I, I go back to spirituality, you practice what you believe. So if you believe that having a loving household, being together, if you believe that it's actually a partnership, you're going to honor that and you're going to grow and you're going to do the things that do that. Yeah. You just, the temptation, the understanding comes. And for me personally, I, the understanding that I want from a woman is understanding that the flesh is weak to temptation. And that's the reality of mm-hmm. being an NBA player, being an NFL player, being a guy of some value or stature Beans, is that- right. It's flesh until we continue to practice these things that are going to help us stay di- um, um, discipline. Discipline. We lost, right. and it takes the team. It takes empathy. It takes understanding. It takes you know what it does, and that's how we're going. And we got to teach that in the build, kids. If you build in a team, right? If you go into a team, you don't know. You don't know what the team aspect is. Like you don't. I don't know the what K, I don't know what KT do. I don't know his tendencies. I don't know mm. what happens over here. I don't know how he prepared for mm-hmm. the day and, and I don't know that. I gotta get to, to know that. I don't know how you do what you do. I gotta learn that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So because I have to learn that, I have to have a deeper understanding mm. and being patient mm. and like, Patience. okay, I have to go with the flow. Wherever the flow takes me, I have to go with that flow right. to have a deeper understanding. Mm. For me, this is how I operate. I'm mm. gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna see where the, where the river is going. Because I want to have a deeper understanding when that river hit that rock and see what happens. When that mm. river got to go off the cliff but get back settled, mm. subtle, what happens? I need to see this. The next move. Yeah. I need to mm. see what happens What's next? to the river mm. in order for me to put that boat on that white water raft and <laughs> forget that bitch. And <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers, man. You, Cheers, you man. say that you're going to put so the boat on the right water raft and do what? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to say pause, but you know that's the part of the left. That's the part of the left. Part of the left. I was waiting for you to say part of the left. I forgot. I'm talking. It's 1800. It ain't me. I forgot. I was just gonna say part of the left, but you know. So we gonna ride it out. Yeah, yeah. White water rap. We gonna white water rap. Fall part of the left. What are we doing? Yeah. 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 So it's being a bad texter. You know, fucking with the fucking out of it. I say, I say. Fuck out of here for the same reason that you say fuck out of here. Because it's like sometimes- I didn't say nothing yet. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> go back. Wait, so saying fuck out of here means it's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker. Yeah, fuck out of here if, for sure. If, I agree. It's not a deal breaker if, like you said, like if we're here. Like if we we here, we live together, or we yeah, in the like, same area. Yeah. Why are we texting? I'm going to see you at home. You know or what I'm saying? Like, call you or I'm gonna... call you up. Hey, how you, you know feeling? The you know the sketty. Yeah. Come on. You know, it's at five o'clock. I guess you know the sketty. Yeah. Stop asking basketball players and football players their schedule. It is the same thing Every for the past, week. For the past <laughs> 15 years. I've been playing football. It's been the same. Y'all's yeah. schedule is different, though, Chad. It's different yeah. from the rest of the world, but yeah. guess what? My schedule has been the same as it's been. I pra- I wake up in the morning at 8 a.m. and I don't come home till 5 a.m. That's it. They got real nine to fives. Real nine to fives. Real ones. So, I am uh, fuck I'm fuck it. out of here. <laughs> oh, it is bad, bad. Cause you was a bad texter. I see you. I'm a horrible texter. We were talking about this shit earlier. But I be in my head. I be having. He don't understand. Full, so, I, no, I, I'm gonna be I, honest. I feel with that. You. I think you Yo, see listen. the message, and it's like I be having full blown conversations in my head and replying. Man, sure. yeah. and then I, I look that. a couple days later, and it's just like, I just gave him the thumbs up or like the man. I ain't even okay. He told me happy birthday, happy anniversary. I, I'm hope you, and I ain't even look. I was damn. No, it's not that. It's the it's the emoji game. That's I'm an emoji is. guy. Yeah. Like, cause Dude. look, I'm thumbs up. I'm thumbs down. We were talking I'm, about. Exclamation How point. Salute. Salute. <laughs> salute. That's the new shit for me. Yeah, so like, salute. I'm like, shout out to that. If you ask me, like. You guys are a little too old to be in the emoji game. So like, but it's so, at, it's at so, your guys' it's age, a fact. if your guys' age, if you're not good texters or you're sending emojis, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You guys, it just says, I can, says see, I can see why. Uh, yo, listen, no, I can no, see I'm why things you, aren't going that good. If my mom's husband didn't text her back or send the emoji, shit. Oh, that is his ass. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. When you get over here. Yeah, on the other side, I'm gonna be there. And you gonna be, man, listen. Emoji. 
<laughs> the emoji. At, at that time, they might have the shit. You just pop up in it's like the, the screens. You just pop up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. And like just, you, you, just, you know just what I mean? Just touch it Yeah. So <laughs> when you get over this. here, you gonna be like, man, I ain't, I don't have I don't time have to be sending paragraphs back. Oh no, paragraphs. Oh me, listen, I don't even read them. So I'm gonna do that same me. I read them. You tripping on that? Y'all tripping? Hey, listen. You got something to say? You might as well call me. So hold up. One question. One question. Yeah. If you somebody send you a paragraph, okay, not a paragraph, it's a couple. No, no, a paragraph. A paragraph. A paragraph. A couple lines. You know what a paragraph is. A couple it's lines. whatever you want to. Yeah, we right. know what it is. You at practice. Yeah. You are traveling. You yeah. are. So that's I'm the worst. Hold on, hold on. I, 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 I know where it's going. Somebody send you something. Mm -hmm. You send them a thumbs up. It could be. It ain't gotta be a woman. It could be the homie. You send them. Hey, you send them a thumbs up. Yo, we meeting over here at twelve o'clock. They looking at you like, oh fuck. Yeah. What, what, yo, what's up? So, and so they hit you back like, yo, ain't that good? <laughs> but in your mind, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have a full. In your Shit's mind, you're like, yo, what's up, my nigga? You yeah, my boy. Yeah, yeah, in your mind. So, so me, I, I, I fell into that trap when I got into the NFL because in college, it's, it's a, it's a camaraderie amongst players where it's like, we all come together and it's like, what, what are we you doing? So Every dumb day is crazy. Every day. Yeah. When I got to the league. They don't, we don't care about I, Listen, once that last game is played, the I don't even don't know these dudes shit. no more. The it's 50 businessmen, hey, bro. I don't even know these dudes no don't care about shit, bro. They, man, they, everybody got their own families, their own things. So when, when, when Saquon Barkley ain't texting you back, bro, he has a family and kids. You can't yeah. be mad. And, yeah. I, and, and I have to realize that in order, like, when people text me back, I'm like, somebody, one of my teammates told me, like, man, you ain't text me back. I said, bro, you text me at 8.30 on a Wednesday. Sleep, bro. What are we talking about? What, what are we texting about? I'm not finna hang out. You're not finna come over. I can't. I like, uh, what are you talking about? I'm with You're my girlfriend. You're a tough customer, huh? champ. Huh? You're a tough customer. You remind me of Ray Lewis, man. Thank you. That is yeah. actually, that is actually my biggest mentor. I'm, that is, I'm, that is, I'm, I'm, that is, no, I sit on some real shit and we can, we can wrap it up after this. But appreciate that. I say that because I, I know Ray. I've, I've spent time with Ray. I've had dialogue and conversations and real build sessions yeah. With, yeah, that's amazing. with Ray. So when I was asking you those questions earlier of where you get that mentality from, mm -hmm. a part of me was thinking that you've had conversation with somebody like a Ray Lewis. I mean, he I, sat I, you down. I have, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Because yeah. what you saying at 23 is the exact same shit Ray Lewis been, is always preaching. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know when, when Ray really stamped somebody. Yeah. Ray stamped me? Listen, I, bro, ask me about me. Man, Ray gonna stab me. Yo, listen, bro. I'm not saying, listen, Ray listen, listen. Ray listen, Ray listen, Ray listen, Ray listen, listen. Ray no, listen, Ray listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. As a as an OG vet mm -hmm. and somebody who's done it, yeah. it's hard for us to stamp niggas. Yeah. Because Thanks. we know the standard. We know that mm. we know our criteria on what it takes to be mm. who we are. So it's hard to stamp. Somebody you after, to that. You after, know, you know and, and, and that's no, and that's no disrespect to the young guys. Oh. Like we, I love young guys. I love watching them. I love supporting them. I'll talk about them all day long. But when you asking me to stamp somebody who ain't played eighty two games yet in the season, I can't. I ain't been through. I can agree. You get what I'm saying? Trade like, whatever the fuck. No, whatever, whatever, you, whatever like, just the game. I can't yeah. stamp you right away. I can't give you that blessing. I can support you. I can give you. Information yeah, yeah. and intel. You your, we you we, we say you got to get your hours up. If you ain't got your hours up, bro, ten thousand hours, bro. Got to get your hours up. And it's relative to everything in life. Mm. So my point is, you will be stamped. You know why? Because you are on the radar of the guy who stamps those mm. those mm. guys. Mm. Not only it's that, no, it's, there's no Dick Buckets no this, more. Yeah, there's no, no this Ray yeah. like, hey. it's supposed to be the Ray Lewis Award. Hey, hey, and, and, and for, for all award. those sitting out there, you're you looking, you, you looking at the like, kids from right. South Central sitting here with Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> so you talk about the guy stamped me already. Being in this moment, you know, yeah, talk God about- stamped you. You don't need no man being, to stamp being, you. Being blessed, and, and, and now it's like, to honor God, Yeah, what you gonna do with it? That's a fact. But it's not to say but, with that being said, yeah. It's still a different feeling mm -hmm. yeah. when you do something that you're doing something that you love mm -hmm. and you're passionate and you put your all into it. Mm -hmm. And that guy Come on. stamps and you. He know who you are? And he stamps you. It's a different I'm here. Bro. And I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna end this shit right now after this. We're gonna Close wrap this it. up. I it took me. I always had a, I'm always a confident guy. I'm always a I'm an optimistic guy until I have to be pessimistic. Mm. You see what mm. I'm saying? I like logic. Mm. 
Mm. I know who fucking with me and who not. I ain't not about to go down that path. I know if you like me or if you not. Like, I know perspective. I know logic. It is what it is. I don't want to deal with the gray area with you guys. Yeah. So I say all that to say, I didn't, over the course of my career, yes, guys, if mellow, mellow, but don't get it twisted. Guys ain't stamp me coming in when I was in the league. Yeah. Right. Because guys were like, oh, what the fuck is, this, young this nigga's crazy. This, style, yeah. this nigga's crazy. He, he, like, oh, it, it's he like changed so they, the game. And not even that, but even on other sides of it, that guy's fucking nuts. He coming through with the, uh, 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 you, you get what I'm saying? Like he's, I, I, don't know if we wanna, I don't know if we want to stamp that. We can't stamp that. I don't want to be. I don't know about a double XL. Right, so for, and, for the longest I had okay. that. You told a double XL, yeah. white tees. Six X, six X, six X, six X. Six X. Lux tees and all that. I see, I see the headbands yeah, right they there. They all, they all right you there. You know what I'm saying? They so still got you, the sweat so on them. When the, because of that, that, that made me have a chip on my shoulder. So I know you ain't fucking with me, so I'm going to go extra at you. It's mm. like, so now all of these years, bonds pass. 75th anniversary. Mm. Cleveland. As a as a as a young guy to make that team, you sitting back like, damn, son, it's like, it's every you in the room in the picture, like, yo, I don't even I want to play the. I mean, let me back up. These were right? real but then it's like, yo, you in this picture, like, what the <laughs> fuck is you doing? You part of these I'm like, but I'm remaining humble now. Y'all go ahead and take that. Y'all take that pitch. I'm over here. Let me go with, you know, niggas that's still in the league. Level, like, yeah, let me yeah, go yeah, with yeah, yeah, yeah. Braun and, and Dane. Uh, you, and you, and you, you know what I mean? Niggas that I really know. fuck with. This room is royalty. So I played the back for a little bit. And it wasn't until it was like, yo, Melo. Where you at? Come here. That shit, and after, that was and it. And it was, it was that guys was that, I mean, at that point, everybody is somebody. Yeah. But it was guys that, is somebody that don't get the love and respect mm. that was like, yo, you my favorite player. Mm. And it was in the room with out of 75, probably 50 was whoever was there. Yo, you my favorite player. So I say all that to say, and I'll close it. I didn't get that validation mm. until the 75th anniversary. Because for so long, Nobody wanted to validate Melo. Nobody mm. wanted to stamp Melo. Nobody wanted Melo do it his own way. Melo do this. He, mm. he ain't with nobody. He in his own. It's, no, so nobody wanted to be connected to that. Niggas was faking. Ah, ah, ah Melo. Boom. Niggas wasn't. Who, who, niggas wasn't the, rocking with me, champ. I don't know if you want to say, but who was the who was the guy that said you were uh, the favorite, their favorite player? Majority. Wow. Majority. I never met Charles Barkley to that day in, tw in, in, in years. I never met Barkley. Like, hey, Melo, you know you're my favorite player, Melo. I just, I all, but no, nah, but I, I always your, kept it, I always <laughs> kept it that up. distance with me and him. Yeah. I don't, I don't know where you going at. I never met you, so I don't know where yeah. you going at. Talk Only thing, I'm going off of what you say on TV. I, cool. I respect you. You're my favorite player. Boy, I'm going to fall back. And I, mm -hmm. I kept it like that with a lot of people because you write checks. You, you take names. Yeah. So it wasn't until that moment where I'm like, ah, okay. I am here in, in, mm. in NBA history with the mm. greats, and they're giving me that love. Can I ask you one follow-up? Absolutely. What moment, right? Because for me, you, you sit in and you play the sport, right? And I personally hate, and this is just me, I hate that Kobe is still compared to Michael Jordan. Yeah, I hate that. I hate it. I hate comparisons. I anyway. hate comparisons. Yeah. So my question is, and, and my whole thought to the sports in, in totality is, do you feel like your career lived up to what you wanted to after that moment? Like, were you satisfied with what, like, do you feel like you were fulfilled with that the moment. sport after, you know? That moment, I was at peace with the game of basketball. Wow. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm in here. Mm. It's, I mean, you, we seen it. Everybody. Everybody. So this is different conversations. This is different energy. This is different alphas. Yeah. Like, different so now you really that, seeing yeah. that, you seeing the lions only hang with lions and the alphas of the alphas and the, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like who yeah. is really that and who ain't really that? And 
you seeing all of this. So I'm falling back, just make seeing. I'm observing, seeing right. where I fit at in the the respect realm. So you, you of would, all of these, you would say you appreciated the respect. I was a fan of the players. I was a fan. Mm. I was a fan of the '75. I was a fan of mm. those guys, guys that nobody really never ever gave bigged up. None of that it was like, yo, Mello, thank you. Niggas was crying. Mello, yeah. thank you. Nobody never told me what you just told me. And I'm just more of a, a fan. Yo, yeah. man, yo, Iceman, yo, yo, you my, yo, what? I had mm. the poster, Iceman. Yeah. So mm. I'm saying that and I'm bigging up all of these guys that ain't getting the, 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 the you know what I mean? The, mm. the light shined on them. I'm going to them, which is my personality. Mm. So by me going to them, I'm going to the I, George mm. Gervins. I'm going to the, the them guys. Don't, don't pass over that though. That's humility. You no, but, you, I, but you've seen it. You've I'm seen gonna it. always remain who I am, mm -hmm. no matter what. I'm gonna always remain a student. I'm gonna Facts. always remain a fan of the game. But I also know what that gave me at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Like I'm him. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> like, Talk heavy. Yeah. I'm, you know what I mean? In, in, yeah. in, in, in a sense where it's like, don't be, don't, don't be, don't shy away from the moment. Don't shy away from being who you are. Be the guy. Embrace that shit. Embrace it. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there like Kareem, yo, Melo. Like, it's, it's like guys that I've never spoke to before in 20 years. Mm -hmm. These are the ones. Yeah. Wow. And for me to get knighted mm -hmm. at that moment, it put my decision to be away from the game and walk away from the game at peace. Like, I'm good. Because there's nothing you can tell Cheers me. That yeah, okay. You understand? Yeah. That was, hey, so, I I was rain, rain coaching me right nothing. There. Nah, that don't mean shit. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. that's the rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people in Brooklyn, KT in the building, you know what I'm saying? Melo the God in the building, your boy Kim Arrow, the human Durag flap. We do this every Thursday, you know what I'm saying? So pull up, you know what I mean? It's, it's a good time every time. That's right? a fact. We Nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10. Like my man Ray Ray say, you know what I mean? Pull up. We, we thought we was only gonna get 20 minutes with my brother, man. We, <laughs> we got you see our conversations, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's like I'm this is what we do. You know what I mean? Truly a blessing to be here, man. Hey, this bro. has been this has been more than what I part expected. Part of the left, part of the left, part of the left, man. But you know, um, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, man. And listen, it takes a lot of uh, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta be a special type of person to put that New York on your chest. That's a real and, 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 and perform easy. and and take all that comes with it, bro. It from easy. the fan perspective, from from you know, media perspective, from all that, it's it's a lot, bro. So Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you too. You know it's com it's sure. commendable, man. It's commendable. Athlete to athlete. It's Thank commendable. You. I'm with Carmelo Anthony. We in the hook. We in the hook. Somewhere <laughs> in Brooklyn. <laughs> we saw As a man. And, I, and I think it's 7 p.m. It's, it's, it's about that time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we appreciate you guys. Thank you, man. Yes, sir.